Hello, it's me. I'm back. Like, actually, this time. Because... I went on a trip. You're welcome. <laughs> I hope everything's working okay. Ah, uh, Molly, that's me. Also, hello, Kyoku, Next Gen, Sky, um, Pyre, and... Wait. That's also Pyre. Pyre and Pyre. Hello. Um, I see black. That is because... So, I was gonna, like open the game and do like setting stuff but it turns out it just kind of launches you straight into this thing uh oh why are you saying hi to me dos oh because i i don't i don't know i thought i thought like i thought there was like another person in chat but it was you twice that's all so yeah, it, it just throws me in here. So I was just gonna... do this. And hopefully it doesn't blow my eardrums out. Okay. Time to figure out what's on this thing. It hasn't blown my eardrums out. Okay, that's a little bit loud. But it's fine? Oh wait, options. Okay, let's do this. I, I'd like to play the options card, please. Thank you. Um... Right. Master William. I mean, this is probably okay. I love this game so much. I know Fio's played it. I like... Okay, so there are two things I know about this game. One is I saw Fio play it and it was apparently a point and click at some point. Two, I, um, I know in one of the tutorial encounters, I guess, there's this... There's like an unwinnable boss fight and there's a, um, there's a fail safe in case you can get around that somehow. Those are the two things I know about this game. Noise effect. I mean, noise is probably okay, right? Full screen or not full screen. Graphics quality high is the maximum. Uh, I mean, I guess we could leave all of this on for now. Okay, so I can start a new game. I actually can't start a new game for some reason. Very cool. How's the Mala since we last saw her? Uh, I'm okay. I mean, there's like... I'm a little bit under the weather, I guess, because my parents got sick on the trip, which means I'm slightly sick right now, but I'm, like, mostly over it. And then... I don't know. I enjoyed myself, which was nice. I got to go to a Transformers restaurant, which was interesting. I know, like, at least two of you seem to enjoy Transformers a lot. So I thought I would mention that. You know, the Ark? Yes, I went to the Ark. I think there's only one of them in the world. So that kind of, like, maybe gives away my lo where I was. Or, like, part of where I was for some of the time I was away. Uh. They, I, I had, like, a... I had, like, an Autobots moose cake. They, uh, they also had, like, Autobots burgers, which was really weird. The bun was the shape of the Autobot symbol. Is it just me or were only the first three movies good? I have no idea. I only, like, watched one of those three. And I, I, have, I don't even remember what happened. Okay, let's continue. What's happening? Am I winning? 
Oh, wait, that's actually... That's kind of loud. I think it's fine. Shh. Another challenger. It's been ages. Perhaps you've forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. Okay, squirrel seems to be free. Stout is one. Wolf is two. You're lacking the sacrifices to that creature. Right. So I have to play... The zero cost one... Zero, zero cost zero one? And I guess I'll play it over here. Right. Now play your stout. Uh... Okay, so this allows me to change the angle. Right. And then I can go back to my hand here. The Ark, religious Ark, um... The Ark is the name of the... The restaurant, the Transformers restaurant. Hi, Cleo, hope you're well. I can't stay, but I hope you are you have a good rest of your day. I, I I will try to have a very good rest of my day. Also, hi, so thanks for hopping in. And saying hi. I, I actually don't know if the Ark is, like, a real thing in Transformers lore. Because I don't really know Transformers lore. Right, I need to play my stout. Stouts cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. Okay, so I need to sacrifice the squirrel to get the stout, essentially. Can I, like, not, though? Can I just, like, choose not to play the game? No. I don't think it's letting me do that. Can I attack with squirrel? No, squirrel has zero attack. That doesn't make any sense. Of course I can't attack with squirrel. An honorable death. Play the stout. OMG, is that Woominous Cleo? It is Woominous Cleo. That's me. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Okay. Okay, so... I suppose combat... Yeah, alright, I know. Lumber bottom left is attack power. It's one. And combat seems to occur automatically. Your stout has dealt me one damage. I've added it to the scale. You will win if you tip my scale all the way down. Do you mean the ship that they tra all traveled on from their planet? Is, is that what it is? I don't know. Like this. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, like that. I want that to happen. My turn. Coyote, it's a... It's a, it's a zero mana, two, one. Your stout stands in the way of my coyote. It, it sure do. My coyote dealt two damage to your stout. That, that did happen. That means your stout's health is two less. Okay. I noticed that the coyote didn't actually take damage, though. So I assume... Yeah, you only take damage when you attack into another creature. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. Your turn again. Uh, you may draw from your deck or you may draw a squirrel. It looks like I have only one other card in my deck. If I draw a squirrel, I could sacrifice the stone and get a wolf. Um... Which is probably the better play, but I also kind of want to know what's actually in my deck. How reckless of you. It sure was. Because you were learning, I will pass. Why? If you're not a creature secure, a squirrel is your only choice. That is correct. Don't want damage, so I put one weight on the scale. Wait a minute, hold on. Uh... Can I sacrifice the stoat? No... I want to fill my board of squirrels. So I deal zero damage, and then we just make this game go forever. Um, but I don't think I can get rid of the stoat. Oh well. A squirrel. Wait, what can, why can I why can I interact with these now? Interesting. Oh my gosh, Miso's here. Hello, Miso. 
I am now the inscription. We are becoming cards in this one, fellas. Get stouted. Stout, stouted? Stout, stout, stouted. Stout, st have I been saying stout? How do I heal him? You know you can play it in one card per turn, right? Yeah, I know. I played like two cards just now. Uh, okay, so you're out of space. There's no room for that card. Gotcha. If I sacrifice for the wolf, I have to play the wolf, I think. You've won this match. Right, you can't. Oh, they won't all be so easy. That was remarkably easy. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Can, can, I, can, I, can I go in the trees? No. Two denizens of the forest approached you tentatively. Okay. An adder. A caustic adder. Damage from its poison bite is always lethal. Oh, okay. So that must be this, um, this effect right here. Should I flip this as well? The undying cat. Sacrificing the fort beast does not kill it. Interesting. Only one may grace your paltry deck. Right, so do I want... Oh, adder costs a lot, though. I think I want resources early game, right? That sounds like a good idea. May lies, this card bearing this sigil is sacrificed, it does not perish. Touch of death, when a tar card bearing this sigil damages another creature, that creature perishes. I play my gift card in defense mode and end my turn. Cat is go. Okay, thank you, Ted. Also, hi, Ted. Greetings. I think... Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Cat. Another creature joins your caravan. It sure does. Some of the creatures out of the forest... ...of the forest seemed willing to follow you. I don't... I, I, I don't know why. They, they shouldn't. You came across an abandoned shack. You found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. And have a second. Under useful implement, I'll allow you to tip the scales. With what the heck is this thing? Is it a pair of pliers? I don't know, but Adder kind of goes hard. Adder's like super expensive for right now, isn't it? Is a secret. A uh, cat is endless squirrel, and if you upgrade to give attack, then it's even more useful. Oh, you can buff him? Okay, that's that's pretty good. Is a secret if you try and sacrifice a cat nine times? Interesting. It's a pair of pliers. Falling a sea creature into the forest would doom you. Oh, yeah, because I'll drown. There is as much as you can carry. Okay, so my inventory has three slots, apparently. You're ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. Okay, I have a five, a five health boulder, two, three health stumps. Right. You can sacrifice me? How kind. Maybe you'll help me. Play along for now. Aw, oh, nice. You may now see my moves ahead of time. Wait, what? Why? Oh, oh, is that what this is? So he's gonna play Wolf Cub mid. Or Wolf Cub... I was gonna say mid. That's technically mid, I guess. Middle left. River Snapper, Cat... Okay, so what is this? River Snapper, 1-6. Cat, 0-1. So, 1-3. Squirrel, 0-1. Okay. I mean, I'm gonna have to do the squirrel. Can I? Can I go squirrel then immediately into cat from the squirrel? I guess I'll try that. 
He can't play in the stump area. So if I put the cat there, it's pretty safe. All right. So if I play squirrel and I go cat, can I sack the boulder? You can't draw blood from a boulder. I don't, I, I don't think you're trying hard enough. To be fair, why would there be a sea creature in the forest to begin with? Exactly, that's what I fear. Do why are you using league lingo, Cleo? Is that league lingo? I guess kind of. If you need a card explained in one two, I can explain everything. I play this game avidly. Uh, I think I'm good for now. Okay, so I, it seems like I can't immediately play the cat. And then I guess I can immediately sack the cat for a stoat. And technically, then I could sacrifice the stone and the cat for the river snapper, but I don't want to kill the stone. The stone is pretty chill. Um, so... Yeah, I'll... Sack the cat. And then do I want to... Do I want to do damage? I kind of want to... I kind of want to stall the game out just to see what will happen. Okay, that's my turn. Mind the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. Oh. Okay. What's that? What's this function? Fledgling, a card bearing decision will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. Right, okay. Oh, whoops. I know, just for the future. Okie dokie. Uh... Do I want a squirrel? Okay, what's in my deck right now? I have... I actually don't even remember what's... In... I think it's two wolves. I have two wolves in my deck, so... That's fine. So I want a squirrel. And then bat. That'll do two damage to me, right? Okay, wait. Oh. It turns out Spacebar ends your turn, guys. The airborne bat flies over to eat creatures to attack directly. Okay, so even if I did put it, it doesn't matter. Got two damage, right? Interesting. Okay. So... That turned into a wolf. It's a 3-2. River Snapper is a 1-6. Wolf will attack that. The bat will attack me, but I want to kill the bat, preferably. So, I'll draw a squirrel. I'll play a squirrel. Sack you two for the snapper. End my turn. Okay. And then, let's see. If I play a wolf, it kills their wolf, which will make me live longer, so that's probably good. And yeah, I can't afford the wolf. If I sack you that like that. Okay. Let's do it. They should have an ant card named Anthony. <gasps> He should. Okay, but he... I, I don't see their... They're not playing anything else, which is bothering me. Because I'm gonna win, and I don't want to win. Oh, well. You prevailed and tricked onward past the now bloody terrain. Right? Okay, so I get to choose between two cards here. Sparrow. Inexpensive. Flying. Where are you? Wolf cub. Also inexpensive. Technically, I, I feel like... I feel like the tempo of the wolf cub is probably better than the sustain of Sparrow. I mean, than the immediate damage from Sparrow. Wolf Cup 
has to live, though. But it also means it's basically got some sort of taunt because they want to kill it, I would assume. Otherwise, I'd basically get what, um... A wolf for essentially one cheaper? I don't know how their AI works. Obviously, I'm not playing against real people. Unless I am. But I'm not. So... I think I'll get Cub. I would prefer card draw. Actually, that would be good. Someone under some strange stones in the mist. Your compact to choose a worthy sacrifice. One that will be lost forever. Oh, so this thins your deck. Right. And I have to do this, I assume. Yeah. Okay, well, goodbye, Wolf Cub. <laughs> you looked upon your menagerie and selected a healthy host. Uh, should I pick a stone? Why not? Let's pick a stone, sure. Okay. The so soul of the wolf cub now lies in the stone. Alright. What does that do? Can I check my deck? Ah, oh, I can. What do you do? Fledgling. More powerful form after one turn. This is a bird. Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. Got it? Okay. Let's see. So he's got Coyote, which is a canine card back. He's playing both of them. So that's... I mean, a coyote is essentially a bat in this case. Which kind of makes cat the... I mean, bat the better card. Did they get... Did they power creep coyote with bat? Well, I guess technically flight it doesn't make it better. Okay. So, we got a start. Have you forgotten the items I gave you? Tis tis. Why, why would I care, bro? Um... I can play Squirrel Cat Stirt. Which will allow me to deal one damage to him. Oh, well, I guess I know he'll be playing those anyway, but he'll do four damage to me anyway. Because they've got the Airborne tag. I guess technically I could just burst him down. I could just play wolf this turn, can't I? I'll be three, I'll take four. Which will like move this to it'll move it over here and I'll move it back here. I guess I could do that. I could just aggro him down. You do have two pockets, girls. Yeah, I know. That's that's why I said I could play the wolf. Technically, they have airborne, which means my cat is essentially safe as well. If I put it here. Okay. I mean, this seems fine. Yep, yep, it's a, it's a flying coyote. Okay, um... I'm about to start. Let's sacrifice... So, okay, so how much damage do I do? I do four, right? I do four, that brings me over there. So if I can get a wolf, that would be good. Are you a wolf? You're a snapper. Well, I guess I could knock out his bat with this. Or I could knock out his bat with a stone, actually. Yeah, sure. Fine. You're getting played now. 
Back on the floor. Yep, you sure are. Three damage away from winning. Uh, May hops, yes. Oh, okay. So he became a two five. Which means I win. Yeah, I win. Okay. I'll take a squirrel. Should I just play the staffer? I'll play the staffer for funsies. Oh, there goes his totem. Impressive. You may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. Boop, 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 boop. You can't use that right now. Oh. Okay. I get another choice between three cards. Skunk. At stack reduces the strength of the enemy. Loses one power. It's a zero three though. That costs one. Raven is a... Two cost, two, three with airborne. You are a river surfer. Hmm. I feel like skunk would be good if we could buff it. But I think I'm going to go with raven just because the two over the top damage might be better. It's also decently tanky. I'm just gonna choose that because I, I'm new at the game. Alright, cool. Uh... I don't know what either of these are. This is a sacrifice one, right? Ravens are not crows. Ravens are not crows. What? Did I call it a crow? Maybe I did. What does the fire do? I guess I'm I might as well be the time to figure it out. What do you do? You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around a campfire, looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire, that will enhance its power, said another. You notice the survivors wiping jewel from their mouth. Hmm. It's talking to me again. Hello? Cat? Hey, y'all want a cat? <laughs> oh crap, it's- yeah, it's an infinitely sacrifice of a 1-1 one -one now. Before it warmed the poor cat, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached towards it. Another cr gnashed their teeth. At a word, you pulled the cat away from the fire and left. I see you guys. All right, so we have what do we have? Grand fur, which is wait what? Okay, so I assume this means it defends against airborne. Yeah. Okay. That was relatively okay. So what, what do we have? Sparrow, which is blocked by the fur, so that doesn't matter. Grizzly. Which is a absolutely bullshit card. What the fuck? Um, is a zero cost four six. Could just block with squirrel. If I play wolf now, wait, can can I play wolf now? No, I can't play wolf now. Well, I can if I use the pocket squirrel, I guess. Would I mind just taking the four damage? That doesn't seem like the world's worst thing to happen. Although I could just block it. Would I want to? Hmm. 
No, I'll just take the four damage, whatever. Yeah, and I'll save all this for later. Tank it with the cat? You can tank it with the cat. Well, the ta cat's gonna tank that one anyway. Um... I'm just gonna play a wolf into it, probably. That doesn't seem awful. Or I could just say a squirrel. Okay, so I'll do one damage there, and I'll bring it here. This blocks is a squirrel. If I play the wolf, I'll do three damage to it, but then it dies anyway. So I feel like stalling's... Not the point. But I might as well use the cat while it's here. Oh, whoops. That didn't work. Oh, well. Okay. Oh, yeah, because that kills the cat. The cat doesn't, like, survive past that. It doesn't have reborn. Oh, I think this is the, uh... I think this is the unwinnable fight anyway. I guess I could go back to the start screen. Can I play this card? Cool. Pour one out for the cat. Oh shit, it, you see, it puts me back here. Why does it do that? New game? Interesting. I guess it's because I'm still in the tutorial. Seriously, I guess I'll just aggro this shit. So I'll take this, right? I'll play... Squirrel Cat, Squirrel Wolf. It'll do three damage and then I can use this to win? Wait, what does this do again? A well-earned point of damage. Oh, nice. I didn't think you would really do it. I didn't think I would really do it any either. But that's pretty cool. Um... Yeah, so I just play Squirrel... Then I play, um, cat. Then I play squirrel. Then I play wolf. Ah. Oh, awesome. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, well. Wait, actually, what is this? Mighty... Oh, this is Mighty Leap. Got it. Look, guys! I'm Ripper Snapper! A fucking grizzly... Well, it's actually just four grizzly bears. Um, and then one of them is a sp sparrow, so that's not even, like, a, a grizzly bear. You've lost. If they, that does appear to be the case, yes. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Aww. But I like this table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. There is no barrel beside the door, you dummy. Oh, you mean that barrel? Okay. Wait, can I say hi to you? I want to say hi to you. What is this? Oh, it's a hammer. Wait, what is this? Is this a wand? I want a wand. What is this? It's black. Oh, I can move. I can move. Hi. Hello. Sir? Oh. What? It is, uh... 
It is some some number of time. Yes. Sore loser. The tying candlestick from atop the barrel. There is no candlestick on this barrel, bro. <laughs> A knife. Oh. Can I, can I snuff this out? Oh, look, guys, it's a candlestick on top of this barrel. I can't. You think you can stay over? <gasps> it's a bunch of guys. Okay. There's a code here. Unfortunately, these don't go up to 12. Oh, this is the table. Oh, hey. You guys, you need any lotion? I feel like your hands are like a little bit... A little bit crusty. Can I light these? No, I stuffed it out. Okay. Why can't I get the knife? Squirrel, give me your knife. Give me your knife. No? Should I actually do what he says? Well, I can't see shit, so maybe I should. Here you go. Can I take that back? No? Brett coated squirrel. He's got a knife. Actually, there can't be too many combinations to this. Eh, it's fine. Hello? Let me explain something to you. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? Wait, hold on. Can I take that back? No? Oh, well. Okay, we're playing a game, right? Porcupine, shark kills. Okay, so it's got one damage counter attack. Cat again, and a, a drizzly. It costs three. That's like a lot. A clock would have 144 choices. Eh, that's not that much. I'll get the other cat. Because, I mean, a cat's a free other cat, which gives me, like, two more free things. It just takes up two, two board spaces, which is a little bit unfortunate, I suppose. Uh, okay. Room is for creature. Enhances power. No way. Don't want it. I got a cat. Awesome! What are you? Here's your aunt sees it close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. He called was the prospector. Not the prospector. Hey, can I get up? No? I want to walk around the room some more. Stretch my legs a little, you know? Okay, what's playing? Pack a meal. What are you? Sprinter, at the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Wait, what? Okay, but if the coyote's there, then what happens? I don't know. Hey, squirrel, cat, wolf, river snapper. Right. 
So he'll get he'll attack first with the coyote, which means my cat dies if I put it there. Which is not good. So instead I'll put the cat over here. I guess I can put the cat here as well. I'll put the cat I'll put the cat in, in the left position. Right, so cat here. Pack meal coyote. Okay, so what does the meal do? What? Oh, I guess it couldn't go that way, so it just didn't. Okay, give me a squirrel, please. Thank you. And I guess I'll just attack the coyote back. Sure. Here we go. Have fun round two. I'm 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 having a fun round two. Yes. One of the rounds of all. Okay, so Black Meal is blocking Wolf now. That doesn't matter. Okay. Drawing one of these cards won't help me. So just the squirrel is fine. Oh, hey, I'm Sinky! Dagnabbit my mule! Dagnabbit your mule! I hope you think it wouldn't be- You didn't think it would be that easy. There's gold in them cards. Oh, wow! There go there's gold in them cards. Gold! I've struck gold! You sure have. Alright, so what a porcupine, squirrel, squirrel, raven, sparrow. What does this do? I guess we just wait for him and go to clear him. Which means in this case. I'll try and get a cat. No, it's a raven. That's so probably fine. Alright, gold nuggets, get him! Wait, what, what does this do? Guardian, when a opposing creature is placed opposite an empty space, a card bearing decision may mo will move to that empty, empty space. Oh, okay. Uh, can I just get rid of the Bloodhound? Not at this point. The Raven Spiral. Oh, wait. I can draw, right? Can I get a cat? You're not a cat. Wait, now I can get rid of the Bloodhound, though. I probably should just do that. Send in Hogan. Hogan La Raven. The porcupine also just kills the coyote. But it's fine. I think I'll just do wolf. Squirrel! Bloodhound, and then I think we're good. Adder. Oh no, the adder is gonna poison this my gold nugget. That's so sad. Okay. Um. Actually, what do I want to draw? I'll draw a squirrel. Squirrel, you go here. Turn into a porcupine. You're a porcupine now, squirrel. Wow. I can't believe my gold nugget died to that adder's venom. That's so sad. I mean, I've won already. Is there a point in this still playing? Send me in, Chief. I've never been so terrified in my life. Nah, you're good. Don't worry about it. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. That's slightly disappointing, but sure. Miner's Bane. Defeat the Prospector. That's an achievement that I got. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you're granted an... Strange larvae. Largely unimpressive specimen. 
that I assume evolves. Arayu Lee. Level of British strength needs no explanation. That is just a stupid. That is basically an entire board's worth of sacrifices. That's. That sounds absolutely not worth it. What the heck? Child 13. Poor abandoned child. It does not die when sacrificed. But do you have a the heart to try? Yes. Um, but I already have the cat. So child 13 doesn't actually seem that useful. You could technically make us into cards in a bit, actually. Most rare cards have secret abilities. Let me know if you want them explained. Audio choppy for anyone else? Nah. Audio chop. Wait, do you see audio choppy? No? I think we're we're probably good. Let me become a vessel. Can I mod this game? Can I can I add custom cards? Hang on. I'm hanging on. What what should I hang on to? I got a water bottle. I'll hang on to my water bo bottle whilst I drink it. I had a bit of a hiccup a second ago, but I fixed it. Thanks for solving my technical issues for me, Sky. I assume you just kind of want strange larva. There we go. Right. Do you want any cards explained? Well, we're bottle. And water bottle. I don't know. I I think I'm probably... Oh, wait. These guys have, like, funny little symbols. Wait, hold on. I think these guys have, um... They have, like... What are they? What are they supposed to be, like... Family tags, right? So this is, like, a deer. This one is... A bug? Question mark. Bottle of water. Bottle of water. And then this 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 is just the face. Can I just not choose one? I don't think I can, right? No. Oh well. The symbols are tribes. Yeah, tribes. That makes sense. Should I just pick strange larva? I feel like I don't need a child 13. And you're a you're a level. What the how do I pronounce that? Ura Yulula Ura Yuli. Ura. Right. So, um, that one's too expensive anyway. It sounded a prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears. You carried onwards. I will embody the strange larva. Miso is kind of a strange larva. That's true. Hmm. Rank smell of rot and mold permeated the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. He tread carefully into the wetlands. Can I get up? He oh wait, yeah, I can't get up. Hi. Wait, can I look at your hands again? I can't look at your hands again. That's unfortunate. Can I get this thing out of here? Prospector, more like cringe specter, am I right, chat? You're so right, Hogan. Okay, uh, this means I get another card. I don't that many cards. Omnipresent Mole. It burrows and emerges to block any landborn attacker. Brower, when an empty space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. Watch your bullfrog, at least in the way of attacking flyers. Mantis. Fervent mantis, its prying claws strike both to the left and right. Ooh. That seems good. Does that mean it technically does two damage to him as well? If those lanes are open? Do you know what a star is? Ha! <laughs> you're a star! Still got it. Um, no, I don't. Also, hi. APPL445. 
Iso really looks like a bullfrog? Um, also, wait a minute. Wait, can I check something? Yes, Mantis has two attacks. Nice. Okay. So, what's your tribe? Rivers? Okay, you're a reptile, right? Strange larva. Okay, you're a bug. Obviously, you're a bug. Should I be working towards a particular tribe? Bullfrog is reptile. I just want to go aggro. Aggro is easy. Just hit him in the face, right? Um, sacrifice. Fire. I've not seen this bag before. I've seen this just add something to my inventory. A gust from this may lift your creatures in the air for, for only a turn. Marvel item, turn this and it'll skip my next turn. I mean, this, this probably seems the best. Time warp is kind of busted. Yeah, I'm gonna get the hourglass. If you deem it necessary, you may cut out one of my cards with these. Wait, why do I get another one? Time warp. It's bleeding yields three blood if you can ignore the bleeding. This. I told you I was playing aggro, right? Feeling overburdened with enough with a full three items you carried on. Time Warp was busted in Divinity 2. Time Warp is busted any game you could get Time Warp. Strange Larva! Okay. Squirrel, Wolf, Red... Okay. Kingfisher... What's the... What's this? Airborne, many... No. What is this? Waterborne. A card bearing the sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn when... Submerge opposing it... Okay. That makes sense. Beehive, what do you do? Bees within. Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, a bee is created in your hand. A bee is defined as one power, one health, airborne. So ideally, you'd want to kill it in one, I would assume. He's got a little stinky hand again. I guess he can't play it here, so I might as well just play the strange larva. I don't know. I don't know how to play this game. Die. Right. So I take two. That's fine. And... Actually, that was probably not the greatest idea. Oh, well. Because then I take another two, and that's bad. Right? Taking two is bad, I think. Why is why did I get the wolf instead of the squirrel? Cause I can't do anything now. Well that was probably a problem. I could probably use this because I'm stupid. Oh shit, I won! Good job, me. I'm so cool. Agro Scratch, everyone groups up and hit it till it dies. Yes. Exactly. I can't believe we still won the game for me. Okay, so what is what is this symbol? Moment. <laughs> You must make a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost that you wish to play. What? Oh, okay. Um, I want a one cost card. Mason Fawn, it quickly grows into an elk. Random card of a cost of one. What were you expecting? I mean, that sounds fine. Uh, I mean, assuming that these always refill your bag, I have two more things, so that's fine. Warm light of campfire. Okay, so this increases health by two. 
<laughs> I'm gonna give it to the cat. Pick something else. Why don't you want health? All right. Maybe just having more health might actually be good. It's a... Okay, oh yeah, I have a question. So... Um, these, these ones, um, turn into different cards, right? Essentially, do the evolved versions keep the stat bonus? I would assume they do not. Anyway, good job, Mantis. You're, uh, you're healthy now. Uh, they want to eat this Mantis? I mean, sure, go off, I guess. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Oh, I mean, there's a door. Okay, so what we got? Kingfisher. Coyote. Mm. I can play the stoat. Do I want to play the stoat? I'm taking four next turn, right? I could just kill him. <laughs> I could just use the time warp and kill him. That sounds like a plan. Okay, so if I play squirrel now, I get the stoat. I get the stoat out, which hits him for one. Next turn, I'll hit him for two. Which is technically not enough, so I probably want to use the wolf instead. Which you hit him for three. He hits me back for four. Okay. So, I think what I want to do is I want to... I want to use the hourglass. And then immediately pass. And I'll draw a squirrel, play both squirrels. Play the wolf by sacrificing these two squirrels. Attack him. He takes three. I take four in return. Nice. And he takes three again. If I put a stoat, he'll take four. Which brings him over here. I take four back, which swings the scales back immediately. Or I could kill his coyote, which is also probably a good play. Because then that means I take less. All right. This spot? You sure? Yep, I'm sure. You're good. Okay. And then I win. Nice. I'll take a squirrel. Are you winning, Cleo? I think I am, but I'm also using a lot of resources right now. Which is technically fine, I suppose. Look, guys, it's a door. Look at all these little guys. Room for a key here. I still haven't found any indication as to the code for this clock or 
these numbers the safe right here so i guess i'll keep playing you're sucked away by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts there's something uncanny about his appearance but you were quickly distracted by his wares care to look at me pelts Powder dealt in teeth, the type collected from battle. They are gained by dealing damage greater than what is needed to win a match. Interesting. Take a pelt free of charge. Aw, oh, thanks, man. See the quality? It's very quality. You're leaving already? Please consider me pelt. I can't afford it, though. I also feel like these aren't that good. Thanks for your business. I guess I can just dump them on the board. Then assure you the value of the pelts. Appear to be useless in a fight. And you mentioned that Trader for and Pop would reward you for them. Oh, okay. Um... Should I sacrifice another card? I want to thin out my deck because... It's kind of annoying having a very large deck. I'm gonna... Uh, dip. Go away, you. Alright. How does this work? <laughs> what did I just do? <laughs> I sacrificed a deer to that rabbit pelt. Inscription. Yes, this is inscription. All right. Um, Kingfisher, Coyote, Kingfisher. Odd choice. I didn't think it would work. It sounded so dumb to me, so I did it. I like dumb things. Right. Um... Kingfisher is just really good sustained damage. That was one of the plays of all time. <laughs> I thought it was stupid. I wanted to do it because it was dumb. All right, um... Squirrel into cat again. Sure. Ding ding. Sparrow. Owl. Okay. So, I'll be taking... I'll be taking three. Which means I need to do... Okay, Mantis will deal two. Oh, wait, but I could get the coyote, the mantis, and still deal one. Okay, which means I'll draw from this right now. Oh, hey, it's stoat. Hello, stoat. I want to play stoat instead. No, I want to swing the scales more. Okay. And then I want you. Nice. Did I lose? No, I didn't. Right. Now I want... I want wolf, right? Yeah. Sparrow's gonna die, so that's fine. Mantis is gonna do one, and then we're gonna kill the sparrow. Of cat and mantis. I take two. Yeah, so I want wolf. Can you also get still out seen turned cause cat? I mean yeah, but I want to get squirrel then sacrifice squirrel and cat for wolf. That way I get to keep the mantis. Okay, so Mantis will deal two, Wolf deals three. That'll be five, so that brings me, like, here. And if I play Stoat, that becomes six. So we're, we're basically, like... 
we're basically doing more damage than he is, which means I'll be eventually win. You can sacrifice cat multiple times, not just not multiple per summon. Oh, okay, gotcha. That's good to know. I know it was once a turn for some reason. Go get him, Stoat. Okay, so... So, overkill is actually good. Apparently. Not that it really matters in this case. Go get him, squirrel. I believe in you. What are you? Encounter a small outpost in the wood, attended by a mysterious woman. It was the traitor that the old trapper had mentioned. Her appearance was unsettling, but you were mollified by her offerings. Do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? Let's start with your hair pelts. Here's what I can offer. I can trade you any of these. Take your time. Do I have to trade this? Okay, what's a warren? Car rabbit hole is played. A rabbit is created in your hand. A rabbit is defined as zero power, one health. Wait, what? When it's played? What's the point of that? Oh, I I guess technically you get you can occupy two spaces on the board of it. Essentially. Bullfrog, Adder, Mantis, Mole, Sparrow, Raven Egg. So this becomes a raven, I would assume. But also, Mantis is very cool, so I'm gonna pick that. Unless I can just keep my pelt. Hey, can I keep my pelt, lady? Cat into Warren into Bunny into some crazy bullshit? Cat into Warren into Bunny. That does make sense. All right, fine. We're going with the bunnies. Those pelts are most excellent. I traded a rabbit pelt for rabbits. I mean, technically, I guess the rabbit comes with a pelt, so... That stonks. Uh, I'll get items. Uh... Should I pull out all my teeth? Oh wait, this immediately destroys a card, right? Sure, let's go with this. A zero mana assassinate is pretty good. My boss battles are high stakes test of your aptitude. With one flame, you'll either overcome them or die. Fear not, I will keep let you keep the smoke. Hey, it's the smoke! A foul smell invaded your nostril and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man stabbed by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from the pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler. Go fish. Right. Okay, so what are you playing? Kingfisher! Wait, what? What does this even do? Is this is this just a block? Do I just block with this? Do I just want to play Stoat. Stoat Stoat does evolve. All right. Stoat, total misplay. Go fuck yourself. Which fish hard choice hard choose? Hard choose? What now what's that? Oh, does that mean he's gonna play him? I don't know. Oh well still I can scissors you if I really need to. 
can I suck the smoke? I mean, I leave, well, early game, this might as well just be the time to figure it out. Pressure fish, easy choose. New fish, easy choose. I don't know what he's doing. Can I sack the smoke? But then he'll fish that, and that's maybe not good. Um, counterpoint, I'll just win. So, uh... You can I sack this? Yeah. Take new fish, easy. Well, yeah, that's fine. But if I win anyway, isn't that okay? Too fast, too soon. Two rounds, Cleo? Wait, what does two rounds mean? Look, guys, it's grizzly bears. Oh, hey, wait, wait a minute. Oh, wait, no, I can't... I can't use the, the thing because it won't... Because they have this this little thingy, mighty leap. Phase two boss right fights are two. Well, I know they're two rounds, but um, but that doesn't matter because if I take him out, he does like what like a piddly amount of damage. It's fine. Double scissors and the fan win. Wait, can I do that? It's not letting me play anything. You, oh, you need to draw a card first. Got it. I like. I want a squirrel. Wait, do I even need fan? I don't. Do I need the fan for this? Because these are haven't been played yet, right? Already have these been played now. No? Yeah, I think we're good, right? Let me relight your... Oh, thanks, man. Very well. You may choose a rare card. Oh, goddamn, she cracked it. What do you mean? I'm playing aggro. If you see a taunt, you kill it with great prejudice. Okay. Child 13, pot rat. Wait, the last time when I killed the rat, when I killed something to the pack, didn't that give them stuff? Yeah. Oh. It's Gek. Please join my team, Gek. Oh my god, you weren't actually supposed to beat that fight, LMAO. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you considered one of the angler's catches as a meal, but the rank odor deterred you. Dinner would have to wait. Gex what Keck entered the gecko. It's tail time, everybody. Let me see. A freaky gust of wind billowed unwelcome into your lungs. The beauty of the falling snow failed to distract you from the chill in your bones. You had ascended to the snow line. All right. It's Grizzly! River Otter. Ah, oh, the elusive otter. It submerges itself during my turn. Which... Uh... Basically means it's immune, but I... Get... Hit in the face. Raven Egg. No less conniving in its incubation. Hmm... Raven Egg is good tempo. 
Random deep voice, Cleo. Always, I just got really close to the mic. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need more, more items though. Frozen opossum. Wait, what does this do? What does frozen away mean? Oh well, scissors. Oh look, scissors. All right, cool. Okay, so what does that mean? What does that do? Uh, sharp quills. Oh yeah, so they have quills. Right, so fawn with quills, raven egg. All right, strange larva. The crowns would kill my cat, which is slightly unfortunate. So I don't want that to happen. Strange larva. Okay, wait, let's see. So... Oak Vaughn attacks strange larva. For one, strange larva turns into cocoon. The elk attacks the cocoon. Does that kill the cocoon? Maybe? I actually don't know that. I suppose I could just go over the top again. Now that I know you can sack this multiple times. There we go. So uh, elk is two. All right. So elk, he couldn't have killed the pupa. Hey, it's Gek, everybody. Sure. I mean, we're probably good. We look pretty good. I could just slice up the elk, but no, we're fine. Yay, money! One mana card, please. Look, it's a bullfrog. It can go next to Gek. Oh, wait. I should have used my scissors, actually. Darn. Oh, well. Amount of items you can carry is three. You have three. Instead, perhaps you'll accept this gift from my friend. <gasps> it's a guy. Green pack rat. Never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pack. Oh, wow. Okay. So, we got pelts... Cards and then buff sacrifice. I want the sacrifice. I want to thin my deck. Mole man, moose buck. Hefty at the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing this sigil will move in the direction described in the sigil. Creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction. Uh, you got like... Okay, so you're a zero six. A zero six. So you're basically a blocker. Moose Buck is just a big chonker. Right. So I can get the Bullfrog and the Mantis. But then I'll still get attacked at Moose Buck. So maybe I just want to. Should I just go for damage? I take three, right? The moment can't block this turn, so I do two take three. That puts me at negative one. 
And then I'll probably figure it out from there. I can always just chop this card into pieces. If it really comes down to it. Okay. I guess I should get bullfrog out. Let's see. If I get out a bullfrog and then I use the fan, I'll do three damage. But she'll swing me back here. So that doesn't really accomplish a whole lot. If I go... If I chop this guy up, I'll basically just be... Oh, he's not going to be really doing any damage to me, which is good. Uh, I'll just be dealing with the Mole Man forever, but that's probably fine. So I guess I want to get out the Bullfrog, I think. Consistent one damage a turn. Squirrel! There we go. I'll go for this. All right. What are you? You're an elk. Which is a two attack. Which means I'll be taking two. The mole man and the mole are blocking because they're annoying. And the mole van blocks flying anyway, so even if I give it flying, it's not going to work out that well. I think I can take two. Okay. Elk moment. Unfortunately, wolf can't kill elk. Let's see. So I think I have to sacrifice bullfrog into... Into Raven. Chop up an elk. Okay. I mean, that seems all right. Then where am I at? Two, wolf was three. Hi, it's Stoat. Hello, Stoat. Nice of you to show up. Okay. Okie dokie. Is there anything I want to do here? I don't think so. I think losing is probably fine, right? I still don't actually know what happens when you lose. And I can save my fan. I do like my fan. And is there something else I want to do? I could do three, take four. I can't wait. I don't think I can do three. Yeah, never mind. All right. Imagine losing. I know, right? It's 
kind of cringe. How disappointing. Is it disappointing? I don't know. I think it's fine. I mean, he, you get you did give me two little can, candle candles for a reason, right? Sparrow, skunk, grizzly, sparrow. Sure. Okay. What do I sacrifice? I'm thinking just sacrificing the sparrow right away. Actually, the bullfrog. Yeah, sacrifice bullfrog. For. What happens if I make the cat sacrifice a bullfrog? I don't know. It becomes an elder cat. Gek. Do it. Oh shit, Gek can fly now. Gek can block. Nice job, Gek. It truly is tail time. Okay, let's go. Let's hear. Moves back. Ooh. So that's basically the same shit. Which is kind of annoying. a spoder layer. Okay, this will deal three. And I'm taking... two? It's fine. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't, because the mole blocks. That's right. He got a mole. I carefully weighed plans. Oh, well. Okay, so what happens when I do lose? Time for you to perish. I don't know what happens when you lose, actually. Ah! Oh, there was some real texture pop in there. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. Quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We'll work together to amend that. I want this to be a perfect memento of you. Have some cards in your mediocre deck. We can put them to good use. Uh, choose a card to draw the cost from. Oh... Can I leave? No? Hi, okay, Warren, sure. Cause of one blood from the Warren. You have the power and health. The numbers. Cat. And power one health from the cat. Wait, oh, power, not special ability. Okay. Look, guys, I made, I literally just made a cat. I never did ask your name. Oh shit. Uh. It looks like it's a cat. There's now but one final matter. Poor shit. 
Aren't you ready? You do not need to smile. Here we go again. Another challenge. <laughs> perhaps it is time you... Perhaps you can understand bones. The resourceful of possum costs two bones. You can gain a bone when one of your creatures ter perishes for any reason. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Hey. Okay. Oh, hey, it's Stoat. What a cool guy. Rattler. So what do I have? I have squirrel. Okay, so if I sack the squirrel, I get a bone, right? Oh, wait. Nope, that's not how I play the game. Whoops. Anyway, like I said, um... If I sack the squirrel, I get a bone, right? For a death of your creature, you gain a bone. You're not lose this until it's spent or the battle ends. Hmm, I want Stout. So I just win me the game. But do I uh, do I want to win the game? Yes. I've got I've got a wolf in here. So if I do this. Cause overkill is also good, right? Because we want we want the little teeth. So instead, I'll, I guess I'll just grab the squirrel and then pass. You're a wolf, right? No, you're a bullfrog. Well... That's still okay. I guess I'll let Sto deal the... Extra damage. Hey, money. Oh. I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. I bet it's beside the safe. Oh, hey. Mighty leave a card bearing to Sir Jova. Uh, 273. Nice. It's a stink bug, everybody! I wasn't sure if I would ever escape. That iron crypt is put. Is the stoat around? The stunted wolf? This madness must end. Put that away. Okay. Right. Tail one. One three, one three, one three. Ding. Okay, so zero out of five. What do we want? Do we just want to deal three damage? Oh, look, a skink. I forgot I put that there. Very well, you may add it to your deck, and I'll do you one every so often. Okay, let's see here. So this gets blocked by that, right? Can I move these around? Oh, that's locked in. I see. But I can move that. So how much damage am I dealing? I'm dealing four. Because that hits that. Actually, let, let's see what happens with this go. Okay, I get four out of five. Right. Uh, 
How about now? Why is that lower? Okay, so I'm doing... Wait, I think I'm doing one, three, one, right? How does this work? Why is it two now? <laughs> well done, you got a stinky. I did get a stinky. So now I'm doing one. Zero. Which makes sense. This is one? Why is this one? Wait, what is this tail? What does the tail thing do? Wait, this works. Okay, sure. Nice. Formidable features those ants very well. I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challenges. I got Anthony. Cool. I still don't understand the tail mechanic. Um... I don't know what these ants do either. What do these ants do? Do the ants grow in power? The more ants there are? Ant power! I, I actually don't know what the ants do. Ants are some of my favorite cards. Okay, that obviously blocks that, right? Yeah. Two. I, s I don't quite understand what the ants are supposed to be doing right now. That's four. That's still four. I think these are all three twos, right? Because there are three ants on the board. So now there are two twos. Is that how it works? That doesn't make sense. Does that make sense? So you are doing... You're doing two damage. You're doing two damage. You're doing one damage. That makes four. Instead, if I moved you here... I... I won? Good job, me. Curious. I feel like... It, I feel like unlocking more cards just thins the pool of cards I can get, which is probably not great. But oh well. And soon do you get one extra point per ant on the field? Okay. That kind of makes sense, yeah. Uh, so Mantis, right? If I put this here, this thing will kill the Mantis. So that doesn't actually do anything. Uh, if a Mantis attacks outside of the board, does it still do damage? Two. Two. Can't move this. Can move this if I want to. Obviously, that's not going to work. Let's go full send. What if I, what if I just kill all my own mantis? Okay. I, I do want to attack with that, right? That makes sense? Okay. Um... 
Now, what, what sort of shenanigans can I pull to get three? So how does this work right now? This attack is that. I still don't know what the tail does. This is one damage. This is one. This does one, right? This dies before it can do one. And then this does three. But that's not what it's rolling out to be. I mean, there's only so many possible things I can have here. One of the tail. I am curious about the tail. I don't know what the tail does. Wait. That doesn't do anything either. I can't move those ones. Oh, wait. Uh, I guess let's go back. Here's just a tail, make a tail creature and move one hit. Uh, oh! I don't know how that helps me. <laughs> I think it's this car. Oh, wait, I can move this. Oh, okay. Well, that's easy. I know I can move that. I would have thought this is how you did it. That's two. Okay, well, what's this again? This is three. This is two. I feel like having this there doesn't actually... Oh, but... What if I have this here? Yeah, there, because then the other thing can't move out of the way. Or something. What the fuck is this? Without having that heard, this wood carving is meaningless. In time, you will understand its power. Squirrel, 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 squirrel. <laughs> I'll be taking that. Hi. Congrats, that'll be useful next run. Thanks. Uh, what's going on here? Squirrel. River Stopper? What is this? One one six? Well, that's not helpful. You're not helping. There's nothing in there, obviously. Can I- can I be the skeleton? No, I can't be the skeleton. Squirrel? Give me the knife. What does this do? What's this supposed to signify? Not sure. Can I, can I be the wolf? Oh. Actually, you go away. Oh well. Let us continue. Whoa, nice clock! Thanks, man! Rattler, six bones. Thank you, little croco. It returns to your hand after dying. That, four bones. 
Bigger coyote, but what did you expect for only four bones? I feel like cockroach seems better than coyote. Rattler for six. I like this. You know, you're free to get up again. Keep your blood flowing. Yeah, you're right, you're right. I'm no tyrant. You may stand up whenever you're... Oh, the map is enrolled. It allows me to play in your next encounter. But do keep your hands off my possessions. I uh, don't worry. I'm just gonna look at this painting some more. Whoa, it's such a good painting. So... These drawers, like, don't mean anything anymore. Or... They don't seem to. Should I die again so I can make a cart that's not garbage? I mean, granted, the cat is pretty good. Mm, let's see. Squirrel. <laughs> you again? Indeed, our friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. Uh, a plan? A plan? Another friend here. We've got to be. I wouldn't call him a friend, but I suppose we are in, di in deep this time. Okay, so let's see what we got. Coyote, sparrow. Cockroach costs four. Stout, stink bug. Stink bug costs two. Two bones. So I can play the stout this turn. That means I'll take three. I'll deal one, which makes I at negative two. Play more squirrels, but that actually doesn't matter. Unless I want to use them to block. Which maybe I do. Well, I can't block Sparrow, which means I'll be dealing one. I'm in net one. Eh, uh, maybe I should die real quick. Hold on. Anyway, uh, stout, sure. Take three. Negative two. Yeah, there we go. Um, see, I don't. Okay. Cage wolf. What are you? What do you do? But you need to sacrifice two different. Well, oh, thanks, man. Uh,. Oh, okay, I get this. I understand. I don't want to sacrifice the stones. The stone is a homie. I guess he's the two of you guys. I hope you don't mind. Um... Back in the game. That's right. Okay. Ant Queen. It's Ant Queen. Okay, Ant Spawner. When a card bearing this sigil is placed, an ant is created in your hand. Ants. Value of presenter will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on. Okay, so it's the owner. So, um, enemy ants do not count. Cool. Uh, squirrel? I see the way this is going. You do? I concede. You may accept my surrender. Or you may finish this match the slow way. I'm good. Uh, okay, so... Free the wolf statue from its cage. Okay, so I can I can grab the statue now. Cool. What was that? I don't know, bro. This is your house. Yay! 
money, money. So much money. Okay. Uh. Up, 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 up. You know, if I didn't get the achievement that said I um uncaged a wolf statue, I wouldn't have known that I uncaged a wolf statue. How long for the nerf to then work lurky lurk back to lurky? Oh my gosh, it's beavers! Hi beavers. You finally prized my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel, though you may wish that you hadn't. What are you talking? What do you mean finally? Bro, this is my second run. Can I stab you? Can I stab me? What do I do with this knife? I will tear up this painting. No? How do I access my inventory? Knife. Hello. Oh, look, it's knife. Look at that. What does the knife do? Poke, 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 poke. It's only for card dueling. Oh my god, it's seven beavers. Savvy Shank? That's what usually one does when I I, don't, I should probably ask Hogan. He'll know. <laughs> Look. It's my cat card. Well, we gotta go with the cat. <laughs> wow, a cat! <laughs> All right. So, the choice is yours. Who <laughs> sacrifice my cat? Oh, go. Whoa, marvelous. Why don't you get a funny face? All right, funny faced stink bug, go get him. Empower me. Well, now that thing fucking die forever. Okay. Where are we playing? Sparrow, Porcupine. One, one. Oh, squirrel, stoat, worker, ant. Worker ants is probably not going to be super useful. Probably just gonna go with the stoat here, then I can attack the sparrow next turn. <laughs> Keep me alive. I'll try my best, bro. Oh, wait, no, the sparrow moves. That's right. Okay. Coyote. Wolf. So strange. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. What does this do? You'll place a weight in the scales. The pain is temporary. I can't use stink bug yet, right? Because I only have one bone. How much damage am I taking? I'm taking four, which is enough to lose me the game. No, it's not actually. It's not enough to lose me the game. All right. Okay. So I got the stink bug and a worker ant. I got squirrel. I can summon the ant, and then I can also summon the stink bug. Probably want the ant here, the stink bug here. Mm -hmm. 
Good play. Thanks. And then I can draw a squirrel and then get wolf next turn. Oh, wait, I died. Oh, no. Oh, well. I hope for more. Wolf cub, wolf, beehive. Beehive. Beehive look sounds funny. Let's do it. Okay, so how exactly does this work? I think like you you give the um the symbol to something else, right? So if I get the if I give the ant queen, oh wait, what did I get the fucking beehive? When the beehive, when I get the beehive, the something that has a lot of health. <laughs> the bullfrog can block. Wait, can I get in? Can I go infinite? Eventually. If I put something on the cockroach, can I get infinite bees? All right, we got cockroach, worker ants. Squirrel. Okay, so ground for playing Wolf Club on Boulder. Your lion sacrifices are working, but you do have a squirrel. I do have a squirrel. You're so smart. Anthony the ant times two. Uh What does the map look like again? I don't remember. Were you as unfaltering as the cockroach? It's B. I want to let you play a card before you can draw an before you draw a new one. Oh, okay, gotcha. And then I get lots of money this way, right? Yay, money! Do I... I, want, I actually feel like... What should I go for? I don't know what I want to go for. I'll go for this. The most exquisite pelts. The first one's free. Can I get the golden pelt? Should I get the golden pelt? It looks fancy. I'll get it. Much appreciated. What is this thing again? What are you? Are you one of the funny sacrifice things? You are. <laughs> and then... Shake? 
Should I make get an ant that gives me an ant? Go ahead and sacrifice me. Who are you again, Miso? Which one of these were you? Were you the bullfrog? Wait, were you the ant queen? Oh, man. I really get an ant that gives me an ant. Oh, you are a little larva, but I don't have you anymore. Okay, this is Prospector, right? Got rid of... I didn't get rid of me, so I died. There's a difference. I think there's a difference. Alright, Coyote. Okay, so let's... let's... Oh, wait. Whoops. I passed. I didn't want to pass. Oh, well. That's actually probably okay. Okay, so what do you do? Would be struck, it's created, and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. Got it. Do I want a squirrel? Yeah, I do. Okay, so... I want the bullfrog here. I want the skink... here. So it doesn't move. Actually, if it doesn't move, I think he just dies. Oh well. Greetings, hello! He's doing the prospector again? Easy boss, the mule's key. Wait, I actually do need to kill the mule, don't I? I don't think I can though, because I think I'm gonna just die. them cards. Oh no. They turned into gold nuggets. Uh, I could play Stinkbug. Stinkbug will kill Coyote. Actually, maybe that's good. Draw a card, right? You want me to draw a card? Okay. And I think that's good. Wait, my gold nuggets give bones? Nice! Draw your last pathetic card, Yugi. Uh, do I just like slowly whittle them down with stink bugs? I could totally do that. Okay, let's see. If I play the ant, it'll just be a one. And then it'll die to the bloodhound. Which I don't want to do. So I think I play the squirrel. Okay, okay, there's a wolf. Maybe I just play the wolf. Yeah, play the wolf. That's smart. Need a light? That will be appreciated. Thanks. Big Freesh. Your reward. Oh, yeah, it's one of these funny cards. You're a Louis Gek and Mole Man. 
Balvin was really good at defending. But I like Gek. After the hiring escape with the prospector, you continued. Blah, 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 blah. Let me think. Air grew thick with moisture. you the wetlands. Cool. What the heck is this? What the heck is this? It's a cave. Right at the black mouth of the cave. A strange beast lurked within. Spoke past one of my trials and I will be yours in a raspy voice. Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. It spoke again, but first you will choose a trial. Trial of health. The three drawn cards must have at least six health combined to pass. Trial of bones. Three drawn cards must cast at least five bones combined to pass. Trial of blood. Oh, I don't think I can actually do any of these. <laughs> I, like, I'm most likely to succeed blood, though. Okay. It was... A black goat with bees inside. A beaver that flies. And alpha. I really had to pick the beaver, right? Wait, what is this leader? Adjacent gain one power. Okay, what is what does this do? Dam builder. Card bearing decision was placed. A dam is created on each empty adjacent. Oh. You were doing the flying beaver. The inhabited beaver joins your menagerie. And what are we sacking? Skink or bullfrog? Okay, so you're defensive and you don't die. I like not dying. <laughs> Gek. Hmm, actually... Having it on one of these cards is probably better. A high attack card. But also I could put it on Gek. I'll put it on Wolf. Okay, so this is a totem fight. Reptile have the funny leafy one. Salutations, hello. So, worker ant gives me another ant. I think that's what I want. Yeah. Squirrel. Cool. And I play the ant. The bullfrog actually won't kill the ant. The ant only... No, the ant doesn't only do two because it gives me an ant back. I'm a genius. Okay. What do you have? You're an adder. The adder's gonna bite my tree. Okay. Squirrel. <laughs> Make another ant. There we go. Now I can also play stink bug. Uh, adder. The ant does one. I do kind of want to kill the adder. Adder's annoying. Ah, it's an opossum. A rattler. Okay, we win. Okay, my favorite one cost card. Oh, a bone. It's Reginald, everybody. What? Who are you? We got we got Reginald the Venomous? Question mark. 
time warp. Thanks for playing. What is that? Look, there's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. <laughs> Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us to the plan to get things back to normal. Okay, what do we got? Bees. Not the bees! What is this? Burrower. Oh. It's burrowing bees. Lovely. Uh, Stinglock, Squirrel... I guess I could summon the stoat. Summon the stoat versus these burrowing bees. You sure? I, I sure am. Oh wait, I can't... I can't kill you. Do I want to kill the stoat? What the fuck does this knife even do? Wait, um... I wonder if... The, I assume the trees won't block. Can I try this knife? Oh well. What's the worst that can happen? What's the worst that can happen? Ah, my flying dams are... <laughs> I, I actually think I'm gonna die to the bees right now. Can I? Actually, I don't think I will. A formidable defense. Thanks, man. I guess my board is full. Oh, hey, I got the golden pelt. All right, so one damage. I'm gonna attack the bullfrog. The flying dam. What the heck is the flying dam supposed to do? The sink bug is, like, not actually that useful right now. Flying damage for moral support. Don't be mean. Okay. I, I shan't be mean to the flying dam. He's getting so many bees. We can't even play him because his board is full. Ah, oh, shit, it's the rabbit pelt. Go, rabbit pelt! No, not my rabbit pelt! Can I sacrifice the flying dam? This is going great, guys. Oh, hey, a bee! Wait, why did I get a bee? What? Where did B come from? Okay, actually, I, I I think theoretically I could possibly win from this position. I don't know if I really want to try though. This is a damn bleed. I don't know. I, I stop. Draw a card. Fine. Can I? Can I sack? The, no, I can't sack the flying dam. Oh, well. Why am I still a 
alive. Cockroach, we're great. Your turn to draw, you can play cards after. Okay. All right, we got a wolf. B's gonna do one damage, I guess. Mantis is gonna do two damage, which is not good because taking two damage kind of sucks. But they have burrowing. So how's that gonna work? Oh well. Um, I play the bees, kill the bees, and play the wolf. Sure. Ah, oh, shit, I finally lost. Nice. In fact, how did you say what? I gave a damn wings. When will a Ruby Challenger appear? You are not, you're not first to lose an eye here. It's fun if you're half blind. Perhaps you'd like to replace it? <gasps> Can I can't get one to see invisibility? I want this one because it's weird looking. Nice. Thanks, man. Regardless, the choice is final. Okay, has anything else changed? I don't think so. Oh. I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. What is this? Oh no. I put the wolf statue here. I got the knife. There are all guys here. I can't click on them. My melee... This still has the same code, so that's not helpful. Alright. Helps are clean. How many do I have? I have a free one, thanks. Uh, you need more chief. I'll get a wolf pelt. Yeah. Here we go. And a rabbit pelt, sure. Thanks for your patronage. My deck is full of a bunch of old crap right now. Uh. Gek, you shall be empowered with Reginald. Okay, the bugs have the funny blocky ability. So... Bees. The frog, the bees will hit the frog, which probably is good. I don't like bees. <laughs> I sacrifice Reginald to get. Okay, uh... Another rabbit pelt. Nice. Wow, this sucks. Okay, I can't actually sacrifice these, right? Your waffle pelt can't be sacrificed. Well, I probably could have told you that one. I, I do have a time warp. I don't think it'll be that helpful. I think I'll just... I, I guess I'll die? There we go, cool. We gotta make another funny card. You're at the end of your rope. Not my rope. So I, I need to find some other card. Like, you need to find another funny talking card. Hello? It seems we're not... 
Where did I put that camera of mine? Oh, it's right there. Here, here you go, man. You have any idea what that camera is capable of? Give me that. I don't know what I can do with it. Yeah, we have a memento to create. Behold, your dev card. Uh... It costs zero. Mm. It's a one one. And <laughs> it's flying and gives me dams. I never did ask your name. Who wants to be this card, guys? What should I name this card? Should this be beavers? This should me me okay. <laughs> this is Hogan. You have me a damn generator, okay? Can I? Oh, oh crap! I can fit it. Hogan Lake Crow is a is a free one one damn charge generator. One thing now remains. I must capture your visage. Say, ch say cheese. Fresh blood. That's me. Carter, knock on wood. Get your angler! You see, he's weak to fear recently and wishes to redeem himself. It would be unfortunate if you failed a prospect before he was given that chance. Hug is powerful. You may steal one of my cards of it. For that reason, you will not find any others along the path. Use it wisely. Seems the lowly sink fog has made its way in. Why are you a square? Just don't. It's dealt, so it stands. Hold on. I want to get up. Uh, bullfrog and squirrel. What does this mean? Okay. I assume these things don't do anything else, right? You got nothing in there? Cool. You're still like that. I th There's no knife here anymore. Book? You tell me anything? 273? It's already open. Oh, hey, there's another guy here. And I still don't really know what to do with this. Oh, what's this? You may not choose a specific beast. Instead, you must decide on a tribe you prefer. Ooh. I am going to choose this one. That's not gonna help me. Wait, what? I am going to choose this one. A skink. Nice. Can I wish for something else? Skink is fine. What is this? An ancient woman emerged from behind an oak tree. She carefully laid out intricate wood carvings and ge gestured at them brusquely. Choose. Oh, I see. So, th is this a canine statue totem? I mean, technically, this is the best one, right? I like that. Wait, does this mean all my squirrels have thorns on them, actually? Uh, this is a squirrel, right? It's not canine. The old woman bar bared her teeth in satisfaction. Your first totem was complete. The sharp quill sigil will now be marked upon all your squirrel creatures. 
Oh my gosh, they're not useless anymore. <laughs> it's me. Oh my god, that's what I'm saying. A lucky draw. Alright, let's see. What do we got? Porcupine, coyote. Coyote does funny pushy thing, I guess. So... Porcupine. Skink. A good play, but I'm literally just gonna play my squirrel there so the coyote dies to it. And then I can. That's one. Can I just keep playing squirrels? And have them die on the die to the squirrels. You have me here, I surrender. No. sacrifice you guys, right? You guys won't mind. Yeah, you guys won't mind. Squirrel's OP, please nerf Theo churns for blood. She does. She do. Alright. Bird tribe? Raven. Okay, wait, this is another totem, right? Bones of the Ancient Creek uh, offerings for you. Bird. I I still do like the I still do like this funny squirrel totem. I think it's very cool. For now. The spiky squirrels. Pronghorn. Oh, that's annoying, actually. But what if it killed itself on squirrels? Copious amounts of squirrels. I should actually sacrifice that squirrel, though, so I can start doing damage. Uh, I'm gonna put stoat here. Okay, draw a squirrel. Draw a squirrel. Draw a squirrel. Okay, I, I think I'm gonna take damage from either the fawn or the pronghorn here, but it's still one damage, so it's fine. Squirrel. 
Uh, this time I could probably... Sock for Bullfrog, I think. Okay, and this should get me money as well. Here you go. Uh, I mean, I have money, so going to this trapper place would probably be good too. On the house. I'll get another golden pelt. And a wolf pelt? Sure, why not? This is good. This is gonna thin out my decks so bad. Okay. I don't. Do I want pushy birds? Sure, we're gonna make some pushy birds. Oh, wait. Do I only get one? Oh, I think I only ever get one. No pushy birds, unfortunately. Because the spiky squirrels are still hilarious. Okay, porcupine, coyote. Wolf help, bullfrog. Mm, bullfrog? That's two health, right? Yeah. All right, we're doing the squirrel strat again. Uh, porcupine. Shoot. The problem is, is I don't really have a whole lot of damage aside from the stupid squirrels. So I'll be taking two here, which is not very good. I could technically just take one if I just have them die to squirrels again. Do you think it's what I'm going to do? But this is, this is definitely not sustainable. Probably fine though. I could steal one of their cards with the hook. Hmm, what do I want to do here? Bullfrog. I can use this. Put you here, put you here. Sacrifice you, put the bullfrog here. And that's some sort of stabilization, technically. And you slowly whittle them down. Because I don't think you can do anything from here. I concede. No. Actually, I've never done this. What happens if I do it? I don't get the extra money, so I don't see why I would ever take that. It's Casey. Spikes. Yeah, this is pretty good. And then... I can upgrade. Hopefully I can upgrade... Casey. Stop this. Why? I still don't know what else to do here, though. Uh... Also, these candles have always been a different one that's been lit. That's not changed. I 
Unless you're fighting the prospector again. We got smoke. Yay, prospector. Alright. Squirrel. Spiky squirrel. Prospector boss again. Yep, that's right. Uh... How much? Uh, hold on. Your true health. Okay. I think that's good. So many bones. Uh, I can send soda, right? The spot, you sure? I am sure. It's wolf. Hmm. I'm gonna take the adder. The face. I think it's fine. I want to sack Casey. No, I don't. I think that's fine. Hey, he's gonna turn my entire board into gold. the wolf to kill the bloodhound. So that's what I'm gonna do. A rabbit pelt. Okay, so I'm gonna take one damage. That's okay. And I got a lot of stuff. Egg nabbit. Turkey Vulture, Rat King. Wait, what does this do? My card bearing to your dies, four bones are awarded instead of one. Oh. Huh. Skink. Great. I guess I'll get the Rat King. Actually, do I have enough bones for a Turkey Vulture? Sure. You know what? I'll just keep the squirrels on field. They'll kill the adders anyway. And then I get should get a lot of money from this? Like five. There we go. Yay! Your lives are restored. Use carefully. Child 13, Amalgam. Okay, so that's all tribes. Are you getting the strange larva again? I kind of like that one. It's very cute. Yes, I know. Oh. We're at the wetlands again. Ah, I'll be going this way. Merchant. Hair pelts. A great white. Child 13 may believe it. Should I have picked that? What is this? It's tentacles. How many tentacles? Oh, okay. So this has a, this has damage based on my um damage based on amount of turns. And this is damage based on cards in hand. Oh, I, I don't like the three. I kind of like amount of 
damage based on amount of turns passed. I'll take that. Uh, Wolfelt, Turkey Vulture, Raven. Ooh, split damage Raven. That means it does four, basically, because it's got flight as well. I like that. What's a douse? Bellis, when a card bearing a signal, a chine is created on each empty. A chine is de defined as zero pawn. I guess we're doing child 13. You have my gratitude. Okay. I think my. Is my inventory full? No, it's not. Oh no, you can't use that. Screw you, I'm using it. What is that? What, what did I just pick up? Great draw. Okay. Bullfrog. Uh, yeah, I'll take the damage from the bullfrog. Thing. Okay, um... She shouldn't have done that. That was stupid. Okay, what do you do? Failure. The user, nothing will happen. The bottle of goo has no use. I'm gonna use it. I'm serious, you cannot use that. There's no possible use for it. I'll place it on a shelf over there for now. My advice, avoid it. Alright. So I need to wipe the board. Can I do that? No, I can't. Did I lose? Probably. Well, I mean, I guess I could... I could, one, steal her card. But two, I can also, like, poke my eye out. So let's do that real quick. Yo, I poked my eye out. I think this is good. What happened to child 13? Sacrifice it, it switches forms. Ouch, why are you doing that? I don't know. Would you care for it? Oh, yeah, I'd like a new eye, please. Uh, I'll take the funny glowing eye. Find salvation. Cuckoo clock. Happy with that one? In cuckoo clock. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm pretty happy with this one. Thanks, man. One. Oh, no, that's not a one. Where's my goo? Your goo. Keep sealed. No. Oh, hey. The pain is unbearable. Even after all these years. What do you want? I have very little to live for these days. Could it be? You have the master's eye. Does this mean your master can see me? Magnificus, can you see me? Can you free me? Ugh, I watched that dagger do its work. For a moment, I felt that my misery had company. Oh, but it's, it had its own noble purpose. Surely a step towards freeing the master. Ah, watching the angler lose. That suited my pain. An old rival of mine, that fisherman. He bested me this time, but I will have another chance. Oh, yaggedy. Okay. Uh, anyway, cuckoo clock, right? So... Uh, 
that should be there. That should be there, and this should be here. One, four, five. Interesting. Stunted wolf. Take the film roll before he sees it. Now. What are you doing over there? Turn to face me. Where are you up to over there? I'm not doing much. Just chilling. You're wondering about that painting? I've seen stuff come out of it. If only the cards are aligned just right. If only the cards are aligned just right. I don't know how to affect this painting. They're still curious. First step would be getting those cards in your deck. Bullfrog and squirrel. Squirrel in my deck. Oh, wait. So, okay, so empty board, bullfrog, squirrel. Okay, that makes sense. I need some scissors then. Or is that the master's free? Oh, the end must be close now. If Magnificus is free, then it must be close. Oh, I see you have a little something special up your sleeve. Fear not. I won't blow your cover. You just need to get a hold of that camera of his. Maybe you defeated him. Good chance? Yes, I see you have a little something special. I need the opportunity to use it. Seeing his challengers touch his legendary camera. Only if they are able to defeat him. Defeat him once more, that should do it. He has no idea what you have up your sleeve. Okay. Uh, Mantis. River Snapper. Rat King. Charging Rat King. When their tangled bodies come corpses, you'll gain four bones. I like Mantis. I like damage. <laughs> Uh, this allows me to delete a card from my deck. I think I want that. The intuitive fate of the creature selected just would not be pleasant. Uh, what do I want to throw away? I think Skink. Goodbye, Skink. The Bone Lord is pleased by your sacrifice. A minor boon of the Bone Lord. You will start each battle with one extra bone. Nice. You sound like Cornelius. I do? Cool. That's what they called me in college? Cornelius? How's it been? It's been quite bad. I am trapped. In the body of a stoat. In the paper of a card. I see that. And I have, of course, set up a way to reset once more. Our player friend, you already hold the key. Go on. Okay. I hold the key. Squirrel. Go on. The key. Wait, actually, how powerful are you? You're a 2-2. Two -two. What are you playing? A B and a B. A 2-2 two -two is pretty good. But I think Stone is probably better in this situation. Back on the board. Um, yeah, I'll play Scented Wolf as well. You know what Cornelius means, right? I don't know what Cornelius means. What does Cornelius mean? Wait, is Co does Cornelius mean something? Should I look this up? Uh, B Mantis. Figured out why Stoat is turning into a Minecraft block yet? I think they, um, they eventually turn into, like, a different form, as far as I'm aware. Because, um... The... The, the, the stink bug was also doing that. I don't know too much about it, honestly. That's slightly unfortunate, actually. Whoops. 
I think I could just go over to talk. Yeah, I think this is fine. You'll understand once you get to Act 2. I, I, I literally started this game today. I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. Okay, uh, I'll do one damage. I might also gather this. Okay. I might see do one damage anyway. Two, bullfrog. Yeah, no, this is fine. We're not really making any progress, but I'm okay with that. Okay. So, attack... Okay, so that's two damage. Three damage. And then a B. Oh, draw. So you found the stunted wolf. I have seen this play out enough times to know that a plan is in motion. Make haste. Hold on, this is your first time. Jeez, you're fast. Most of you are nowhere close to getting the film yet by now. Oh, really? I mean... The pus- like, the puzzles outside have been decently easy. I don't know! I brute forced to draw a puzzle. And then everything else has been fine. I still need to get, um, the card puzzle done on the painting, though. Because I am not that lucky on the draws after I figured it out. Alright, we're just gonna go face. Alright, cool. Um, this means I should win, right? Yeah. That means I win, but I also want to kill him. It's like one point of overkill. One point of overkill is fine, I guess. Because there's like nothing better I can do, right? <gasps> no, there is. Wait, I didn't want to kill the mantis. Oh well. There's always next time. Oh, wait, you. Now oh, this is overkill. Yay! Money. Okay, uh, what are the mushrooms? Uh, I want a bone cut bat. That's okay, yeah. I want to see what these mushrooms do. You find yourself amongst a grove of thick and pungent mushrooms. You squinted to see a figure through the thick cloud of spores. We are the mycologists, yes? Yes. And we are performing our experiments far from, from... We are not welcome elsewhere. Our experiment on your flock, yes? We will need two of the same creatures. One for each of us. Uh... I like this raven, though. Fine. Whatever. I think this could get messy. Look away. The raven, it is now... Oh, wait. I can do eight damage with this this one little guy. Holy crap. Thanks, man. Okay. Squirrel? 
The film roll, is that correct? My plan nears its moment of truth. But you must defeat him first. Oh, wait. I got the stump here. So I can't, I can't pull off the squirrel bullfrog thing. I don't think. Uh, bullfrog. And then... Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Go for it. Lucky draw. Coyote. The wolf's gonna die. But that's probably fine. Uh, mycologist is gonna... Yeah. Once I mention a 15 attack 13 health card for mycologist... It's pretty good. Whatever sapper, ringworm. Underappreciated ringworm, its value is not readily apparent. Kingfisher. It's a free hunter. Kingfisher is actually, seems actually pretty good. I want the ringworm because it seems useless so far. Okay. Plus attack. If, I really shouldn't be giving it to Raven because, like, that's putting all my eggs in one basket. I actually think I'll give it to Casey again. Because it's gonna be three. Three, two, that attacks twice. Survivors are right about the flames. Enhance the creature's power. It's funny for this fire drooling. Don't eat, Casey! The most OP card I've gotten is 16 attack, 16 health, but I won't leave it up because I won't leave it Okay. Alright. Oh, wait. This is a uh, angler. Is this guy... Uh, I don't have the scissors to bypass the grizzlies this time. Is he gonna do it again? Well, we got Wathman, so I'm sure it's fine. You, sometimes, you sound like mumbling sometimes when you're talking so fast. Oh. Sorry. Um, okay, I, I think I will do Moth. And then Smoke... To, you know, Smoke doesn't protect from Kingfisher, so it's fine. Sailfish hard shoes. Don't steal that. I'm fresh. Hey, you wanna. You wanna ringworm? Stealing. Okay, that's fine. Go fish. It's a bait bucket. What's what's a bait bucket? I don't know what a bait bucket is, but it's there. Hey, it's a bullfrog. Uh, well, goodbye, bait bucket. You can make Angler push pearls and, and place a better card so he does less damage. <gasps> My squirrels actually aren't that bad, though. They got, they got thorns on them. Shem 
What do those buckets even do? You will not perish quite yet. Also, those weren't the grizzlies this time. So that's good. Amalgam amoeba. Uh, this sounds fun. Buckets turn to great lights upon being attacked. Okay, so... This should bring me to the mountain area, right? You'll need another map. Yes, here I am. Again. Very fresh air quickly had gave way to a bone shaking show. At least this time I didn't have to chop up a couple grizzlies to get here. Your guess is the path ahead has still increasingly obscured it. You climbed the snow line. Okay, anything else I need to do here? Still squirrel bullfrog, I guess. If I ever get around to that. Uh, let's see. I think I can do with some items, actually. Elk fawn, cockroach, grizzly. I don't know what I actually want here. I, I feel like there could be some shenanigans done with the cockroach. So I'm gonna pick it. But I don't... I feel like that's not the right choice. Some bone tokens for a rainy night. Scissors. And then... Squirrel would be good, but also... If I want to go aggro, this is also really good. I'll go for squirrel. Thorny elks. Okay, I've got Casey. Uh, elk fawn. I think... Wait, I think I just win. Huh. Interesting. Helps are the finest. I guess I'll get another golden pelt. And I can't afford this, can I? No. Uh, rabbit as well? I feel like I, sh I feel like I don't want these, actually. This makes my deck really bad. Oh well. Remember the grizzly way? Does it appear to stop from beating the game for a try? I told you you're going way too fast. Wait, I assumed that speedrunners would be able to do the same thing I did with the grizzly wave though, right? Just chop them up. Okay, what do I want? Okay, yeah. Cockroach shenanigans. Here we go. What do I want the cockroach on? <laughs> Casey? That's too many eggs in one basket. Um... I want it on something cheap so I can just play it immediately after. Which technically would be Casey. I could do Amoeba. I don't know how good Amoeba is. Amoeba, you're 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 getting cockroached. Alright. Squirrels. We meet again. Wing wave. Okay, so where are you playing? Elk fawn, elk fawn. Let him just run into this. What is this? Oh, it's just a shadowy fur. Okay. Squirrel into stunted wolf. But I'll take out an elk fawn, which is probably what I want to do, honestly. Squirrel into a stunted wolf. Go for two damage right away. I want the squirrel. 
Um, squirrel into ringworm into amoeba? It's stinky. I guess, yeah, I guess keep using the squirrels because they'll, they'll keep killing the elk fawns. Which is fine. Uh, I'm, how many am I off from winning? I'm two. So that's not going to be that useful yet. Alright, that's fine. Where are you? Raven. Raven should win me the game, right? Yeah. Oh, hey, a worker ant. Come back. Thank you. Now, now what? <gasps> Another my wait. I don't have any dupes, do I? Uh, how do I check? Let's see. You got any? D I can combine my rabbit pelt with my rabbit pelt. I don't think that's gonna do a whole lot. I'll be honest. Are your pelts clean? Okay, hair pelts. Oh, wait, I hear a black goat. Do I want that? Sure. And I guess I might as well get the other ones because having rabbit pelts in my deck is pretty bad. And then coyote. Sure. Golden pelt. Another strange larva. The Dow's child 13. Child 13. <laughs> Having more of those in my deck is actually pretty good. More health. <laughs> Why having more health is good? A ringworm. What am I gonna do a ringworm? Mantis with more health? What am I gonna do with more health? Coyote? And coyote wouldn't be that bad. It's very cheap. At least. Technically. Wait, bad is. I still feel like Bat is just a better coyote. <laughs> Most of the time. Actually, Bullfrog having more health wouldn't be bad. I'll have Bullfrog with more health. I can use it to tank stuff. If I really need to. Child 13! Okay, so elk fawn. Um, right. Warren will give me rabbits for stonks, I guess. But Mantis will give me damage. I could still play Warren, because I could sacrifice Child 13 again, but I want the damage right away. There, I'm already at four. And I should win from here.
So we got... Did I do that? I... Okay, so it's, I still feel like this is the amount of cards you have in hand. Pronghorn. I'll take this. Uh, and then I guess I could sacrifice something. Sure. Having less cards in deck is probably good. Black goat. Wait, I can't get the Manda's ability on something with more attack. Better I could get the black goat on something that's like free. Hmm. Damage is damage. Uh, and then what can I put you on? That's good. Can you put? I can put you on wolf. That basically makes wolf pretty good, actually. I would think. I'll put it on wolf. Alright, I've never done this boss battle before. Let's see what we got. A man stood before you, a man you recognized immediately. It was the Trapper. You reached out to examine his wares, but he stopped you. Sorry, but today you will supply the pelts. Alright, what we got? Strange frog. Leaping trap. Strange frog. Strange frog. What? What does this do? Steel trap. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, the creature opposing it perishes as well. A pelt is created in your hand. I don't know what the strange frogs do. Okay, so Warren. When a card bearing is played, a rabbit is created in your hand. A rabbit is defined as... Zero power, one health. Oh, sorry. Okay. I want- I think Strange Larva mid? Oh, he's a DM role-playing his own NPCs. But Warren gives me free stuff. So I think here- this is what I'll do. Hello. Oh, it turns into a trap. That's not good. It's a leafing trap, which means my mothman's dead. Unless I can get rid of that somehow. Well, it's dead next turn. And I can just chop it up. But if I can chop it up, why not just chop it up now, right? And that'll move me on to phase two. Go away. Exquisite pelts, but the cycle must continue. Let's trade. Powerful cards. I will only accept the finest pelts for them. Oh, 
Okay. Very well where you can notice the rest will stay and fight for me. I mean, should I just... I mean, I'll just get the grizzly. Sure. I would have chosen differently. Oh, you're wrong. Because I'm pretty sure you're dead. <laughs> to the moth again. Coyote of the start, I think. Yeah. This doesn't overall doesn't do anything. But, uh I think it's fine. Reignite. Perhaps one of these will entice you. Rally Amalgam Chowther. Hey, one of these guys. With the enigmatic trapper and trader now bleeding into the snow, you persisted. You could see a light in the distance. The end is near. A moment. I still haven't gotten that. All right. I want to see if I can get another pair of scissors. Time warp is really good. I'll take that. Your eyes are fixed themselves on the small cabin. It's warm light, a beacon in the oppressive darkness of the night. Surely, surely this cabin marked the end of your travails. Surely. Did I die? Ah. Oh, yeah, nice little stroll. Ah. What a nice little stroll. Steps away from a strange cabin. You were presented with an opportunity. I don't offer my boons to just any traveler. If you're able to pass my trials, you will be rewarded mightily. A trial of rarity, the three gone cards must include a rare card. Trial of the swift, the three drawn cards must include a card with a sprinter sigil. Trial of the winged, the three drawn cards must include a... I think this is the most likely? Let the trial of rarity begin. Ah. Child 13 is a rare card. Success. I will grant you one of my most powerful boons. Cards that automatically alter the, dramatically alter the game, and you don't even need to draw them. Middle. The boon of the forest. You will start with a battle of grand furs on, of all your spaces. That sounds awful. Boon of the bone lord. You start a battle of eight bones. Goat's blood. You start a battle of black goat on the board. Okay. Repeat that once more. Trial of the Finned, the three drawn cards, must include a card with the waterborne sigil. Trial of Skins, the three drawn cards must include a pelt card. Trial of the Ring, if you have a ring you pass on- what the heck? What's- I- I don't know if I have skins actually. I'm pretty sure I don't. Not a single pelt card. Failure! Oh well. Oh, hey! You managed to get a boon. This may be a fair competition. Will it? Did I win? Did I die? Ah, hey! What's up? You took your time out there. And I'm itching for another game. You ready to play? Yes? No? Maybe? Here we are. I hope you're adequately prepared. Smoke. Perhaps one more to be safe.
Mole Man Amalgam. Mole Man is annoying. What are you? Dam Builder. Okay. Casey. Casey will immediately kill the Mole Man. Ray Blood won't do anything for me. I could just also steal his shit, but I don't think I want to do it right now. Hmm. Casey kills the old man, Amalgam kills Casey, and that's not good. I don't want that to happen. Get Mole Man. I'll just... I'll kill the goat for Casey. It's very inefficient, but... I also... That also means I just win this round. Uh, Amoeba, that's fine. I don't get the effect, but it's still something. And I'll throw the squirrel down here. You capably end dirty onslaught of rare creatures. There was no onslaught. What are you talking about? True challenge was forthcoming. Shadowy figures appeared before you. In their eyes glimmered a recognition of kinship, but colored by guilt. They were betraying you. I remember that one fondly. Oh no, it's Reginald and Lewis. Wait, but they die anyway. What are you talking about, bro? Oh, hey, it's Ringworm. He, he's still lost. All right, well. This damned moon. It's dramatic, yes. It provides no value to my board. I wonder. Now that is value. Omni Strike, and a card bearing this sigil will strike each opposing space as occupied every creature. It will strike directly if no creatures oppose it. Title Lock, at the beginning of your owner's turn, a card bearing this sigil will pull small creatures like squirrels into its orbit. Mighty Leap, okay. Um. I guess I want to. Well, I mean, a squirrel can attack it, which is kind of weird to say. So... I'll just draw this. Child 13, that's good. Carry on. Alright. Casey is gonna do another six. I just have Sun and Wolf do two to it. Oh wait, uh, I need to do this a different way. Wait, actually, I'll just have I just use Bat then. Need more bones to play that Bat. Okay, smoke. All right, Amoeba's back. What does Amoeba have now? Amoeba has bunnies. Black goat. That's not particularly useful, I'll be honest. We fighting the moon. We are fighting the moon. I got a... I have an undying bunny. Wait, what? Do it. Can I can I do this? Huh. Well, isn't this something? 
Turn to John. Okay. It's dope. All right. Well, I'll use one of my infinite bunnies. Play child 13 again. Sacrifice child 13 so it becomes that space stoat. Salutations. What is this? Weaking my wound with a stinky sigil? It makes no sense. Wounds have no sense of smell. It's not how I imagined this battle going. Bro, I, I didn't even think of that interaction. job undead buddy uh there's like nothing i can really do at this point you really destroyed the moon i suppose all that's left is to finish me off can i not do that go on oh it makes me do that oh wait aha can i not finish you off can i like force a stalemate Let's see, can I? Let's see, Amoeba, I can kill you. Okay, if I play Black Goat... If I play Black Goat, I can destroy... Amoeba. Then I can play Child 13, destroy Stoat. Uh, and then Blood Worm, destroy Stinkbug. And now we're locked. Take that, idiot. Why have you done this, Cleo? Why... why not? Wait, what happened if I duck out? Fine! Wait, that doesn't work. Why did I do that? I'll get the I'll get him with the raven. Enduring victory, defeat Leshy. Did I just I think I just beat him? Oh Uh oh. Good job, question mark. Thanks. It's cam works. Okay, let's see. 915, 915, 10, 0, 2, 10, 0, 3, 10, 10, 10. Error. Can I turn on closed captions? Hmm. 
I do not celebrate often and I seldom give gifts. But you, Challenger, you are worthy. Please not be polite. Dig in. Don't mind if I do. Is there something wrong? Your prize awaits. Should I have watched those videos? Oh well. Very well. Come with me. Stand right there. Hey. Give me that. Who gave you that? You did. You absolute ingrate. Get it back. I like the way you didn't watch them. Yeah, I didn't watch them. Should I have? I can I can look it up on like YouTube or something. I just picked the back button because I thought I I didn't know that I shouldn't have done that. All right, I'm scuffing out, Cleo. Y'all have fun. Streamer behavior. Well, I'm here now. Wait, do I, should I actually, like, look him up on YouTube or something? How do I get my inventory? Well, I'm here now. I don't know what I'm doing. But it sure is dark in here. Hmm, last sage one minute ago. Alter- I can alter my deck, guys! Wait, is there a way to roll back, actually? If I should have watched that? I don't even know what I'm doing here, bro. Actually, what happens if I go back to the start screen? If it takes- if it takes me all the way back, I actually don't mind that much. There's no way to roll back? Okay. That's fine. I mean, I could just start a new game, right? I mean... <laughs> It's fine. What do you guys think I should do? In regards to- I don't know what I'm even doing here! It's not super needed to watch the videos. Okay. Would it- would, would the videos have told me what I'm supposed to do here? I could turn up the brightness. Hold on. It would? Oh. Well, he I'm here now. And you don't care about the lore plot of the game and you don't need to watch them, I suppose. Oh. I I I'll be- I'll be, like, incredibly confused and then I'll, um... And I'll probably look him up afterwards or something. I honestly don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now, though. I suppose at this point, help would be appreciated. Because it is kind of boring looking at a black screen the entire time.
Uh, I feel like I don't remember. I could, I could start from the beginning again. Oh, what do I think I do? Ooh, Fio knows what's up. Fio knows what's up. Okay. Fio, backseat me. There's a candle here. I can't jump, so it's not that... Actually, I don't know the controls for this game, now that I think about it. Uh... I mean, none of this makes sense. Eh, go back to the main menu. Oh, alright. I hit the funny new game button. Oh! But I thought this would start a new game. I, I was gonna use the funny new game button to, like, reset. In the beginning, the world did not know cards. That is, until the day the scribes arrived. Each had their own method of inscription to create cards. Grimora used her quill to inscribe the epitaphs of the dead. Leshy used his wildlife camera to capture beasts. Uh, PA03 used a particle scanner to copy the CPUs of robots. And Magnificus used his brush to paint those wizard pupils. With the cards created, the scribes had solidified their power. Until one day, a challenger arrived to replace one of the scribes. Choose a starting deck to mark your ambition. to replace Grimora and become the scribe of the dead. Your ambition is to replace Leshy and become the scribe of beasts. Your ambition is to replace P03 and become the scribe of technology. Your ambition is to replace Magnificus and become the scribe of magics. I don't need a deck. I'm going home. Hello? Okay, there I am. Okay, so choose carefully. Uh... I, I, I'm anything but... Do you want advice? If you want to give it to me, sure. I don't know what's going on right now. Wait, actually, if I go to options... Uh... Pause the window, not focus... Yeah, I can reset my save data if I really wanted to. Alter deck. Can I alter my deck? Oh, guys, I have... Zero card. My deck is so consistent, everybody! I already know what I'm gonna draw next. It's nothing. I all play a magic deck. They can get funky. Does someone have picked the wrong deck here and finish finish the game? I would take just. A I played a bone deck and it was awesome. I assume this deck has a lot to do with tribes, right? That's basically what he, we were playing before. I think this will probably make a lot of use of the bone mechanic. I have no idea what this is going to be. 
And I don't know what this is going to be either. Which makes me lean to take one of these two. It's like it's kind of what you've been already playing the whole time. Yeah. Alright, magic deck it is. Alright, let's see what we got. Emerald Mox can't be sacrificed. Well, Emerald Mox is on board. It provides a green gem. Mage people. If Mage people's owner controls no Mox cards, Mage people perishes. Ruby Mox can't be sacrificed. While Ruby Mox is on the board, it provides an orange, orange gem to its owner. Sapphire Mox. While Sapphire Mox is on the board, it provides a blue gem to its owner. Junior Sage. Mage Knight. If Mage Knight's owner controls no Mox card, Mage Knight perishes. When blue mage is played, you draw a card equal to the amount of mox cards on your side of the board. Okay. Well, I mean, I have to auto-complete my deck, right? Oh, they just put everything in there. Cool. So... Okay. So these are basic... The moxes are basically land. From magic. And every turn they give you one of these resources. So you can play the Mage Pupil, which is a 1-1. One, one. And then Mage Knight is a 1-3, which actually doesn't seem that good. Um, but it costs 1. Junior Sage. Blue Mage. <laughs> the card draw does seem really nice, though. Alright, Magnificus. I'm coming for your booty. What is this? Woof. I was just about to call it quits out here. But now that there's a challenger in our midst, it's back to work for me. I should be able to get this fridge fixed in. Full disclosure. Take me exactly as long as it takes you to defeat one of the scribes. So, uh, come back later. Alright, so I guess we'll fight Leshy. 273. Yeah, I know that already. No. No fish, no pass. Pride to chest up and found a card pack inside. We have beastly card pack. Grave digger regenerate one bone energy bot. When an energy bot is played, it provides an energy cell to its owner. Oh, robot deck actually seems pretty cool. Dag nabbit! That thing hound got himself lost again. You think you're getting past? Think again. Not till I get some proof my girl's alright. Okay. Hey, Leshy. Stop shaking. The only thing you have to fear is your own inadequacy. Behold me, I am Leshy, a scribe of beasts. We share a desire for you to challenge me. But first... I know what you're thinking. No, this is not my legendary camera. Not the one I use to create beast cards. This one is a mere replica. You may use it to create photos of the beasts in these words. My subordinates, the prospector, the angler, and the trapper. They each require a photo before they will consider battling you. Return to me when they are all defeated. Return to me when my subordinates are defeated. You may switch to start to prospector. Okay. Hello, who are you? You wish to trade? You don't have a chance have any pelts? No? That is disappointing. But I also accept foils. You see? Okay, I don't have any foils, though. Alright. We'll see. Well, I'll be seeing ya. Okay. So I need to take pictures of stuff. You're here. Marvelous. I am Grimora, scribe of the dead. Until quite recently, I was disgraced. Till I was returned to my former glory with the help of some unlikely friends. If you wish to test your skills against me, you must first prove your wits. You must discern which tomb marks the final re resting place of my lovely ghouls. Are these logic puzzles? 
Oh no, oh no, do not look upon me. Do not snarl or sniff, I beg you. If you wish to battle, please let us get it over with. Oh, we're fighting. Hey. Uh. Greetings, my consciousness has been summoned, it seems. But for what purpose? Ah, you have selected my starter deck and require a short lesson? You see, magical cards are powered by mocks. Though some record to them as gems. If you have one of these mocks on the board, you may play cards at that cost. Start by playing one. Mm hmm Okay, I want this. You see, now you may play magical cards of that gem's color. It is quite simple, really. I cannot comprehend how my students sometimes struggle. But I digress. Carry on. I await you atop my tower. Alright, so that's gonna play a 2-3. I'm just gonna... I just wanna draw. Okay. And... We're good. Wait, what is this? Oh shit, I killed him. Alright, I don't have anything for him. So I can't draw you, yeah. Got it. Can I kill him? No. Revenant collapses into a pile of bones. Uh, let's see. I'll use you to block. Bonehound leaves over to block. Oh, okay, that's, that's what you do. Got it. So I should have played them in the reverse order. That's fine. Ah, uh, card draw. Uh, this will kill Bonehound. And uh, we are good for now. I don't have orange gems to play that. Oh, yeah, of course. Please put that down there, that down there. Pew pew! Pew pew! Excess damage, foils gained. It is over. He chewed me out. Now, please look away. Turn your eyes to this card pack instead. Energy bot. Uh, bullfrog revenant. Pharaoh's pets. Pharaoh's pets is counted as three blood, rather one blood, one sacrifice. Also, when Pharaoh's pet sacrifice, it does not perish. I'm called Sawyer. The middle stone marks my grave. Please. Do not go digging up my bones. Found a piece of an epitaph. Read Sawyer Patel, zero, uh, 1702. Fall, seven, to fall, um, 1778. Hark, a living slice 11 approaches. Bright and tree is lime. Yet, you think you will squeeze the feet out of me? So you're playing skeleton and ghost ship. Waterborne. Also, at the end of the owner's turn, ghost ship will move into destruction and scribe on sigils and drop a skeleton into its face. Oh no. Okay, well I have to play this for the mocks. And I'm gonna play Mage Knight. The mage pupil here. I'll do two damage immediately. I'll take one more damage. Drops the skeleton. And then I... I don't think I win. Do I win? I don't think I win here. Do I? No. I need one more. 
And then now I win. Yeah. Oh wait, how did my guy die? Oh no. Oh, just draw a card. Oh hey, it's a it's another mox. All right, cool. This should let me. There we go. I, you beat the pulp out of me. Firstly, take you this. Okay, Revenant. After attacking Revenant perishes, play one bone to create a skeleton in your hand. Water bore. Okay, go shoot. Oh, uh, I know that. Bolt Hound. When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an enemy space, well, how will move to that enemy space? Conduit. Empty, empty spaces within a circuit completed by factory conduit. Spawn leap bots at the end of the owner's turn. And because you invested me with you, I'll share my secret. Your name's Royal. It's the far right tomb. Here's the headpiece. Piece of a head tap. Royal Dominguez, 1589 to spring 1632. Find a piece of an epitaph, among other things. Hit by a falling piece of ice. Alright. Skelemagus, Necromancer, Banshee. And then Mage Knight, Bolt Hound. Okay, so what's here? Found a piece of an epitaph. There was no cure. Oh, hey! I'm a little guy now. I guess that just randomizes your appearance. At least that's what it seems like it's doing to me. I want to be a little robot guy. Piece of enough taff eaten by a hungry dog. Does not hold a grudge. Bird, did someone leave the AC on? Oh, come on, dude. It's freezing in here. Maybe a heated battle will help. Mm, let's see. Draugr can't be sacrificed when it perishes. The creature's inside is released in its place. That doesn't seem good. Strike an opponent directly. Okay, so I'll put this guy here. Yeah, I know. I. Oh, whoops. I guess it needs the Mox cards first. Oh well, that was a mistake. I thought it was at the end of the turn. Unfortunately, it was not. Uh, I'm gonna throw a Ruby Mox here for now. and collapses into a pile of bones. Okay, now we're even. Let's see. I want to swap these. So, yeah. There we go. You do not have blue gems. Uh, I will get rid of this one. Blue mage two. Okay, that's good. I mage people. Uh. All right. There we go. I think we're fine. There we go. Excess damage one. Oi, foils gained. Yes. Money! 
you want, but now I'm a bit less cold. Take a pack on the house. Broken Oval. When it's struck, it deals a single damage point. Mage Knight, Warren, Bone Heat, Banshee. You did beat me, so I guess I gotta fess up. The name's Casey. Casey Hobbs. I'm from the tome and from the tombstone on the left. Casey Hobbs, 1970 70 to winter 1992. Pulled up an epitaph piece. It reads the defibrillator failed. And you're a merchant, right? Yeah. Uh I can't purchase skeletons. Alright, we're going in the hole. In the hole we go. Brought down by scurvy. You have no offering? Nope. I sure don't. Found a card pack. Bloodhound. And Mage Knight. I don't think I need that many Mage Knights. Okay, so you are... Sawyer Patel. Uh, brought down by scurvy. I don't know the other ones, actually. Hold on. Wait, please do not... Sniffer Snarl. Middle Summer... Okay, wait. So you're... That's not correct. You were eaten by a hungry dog. You are Royal Dominguez. And you must have been brought down by scurvy. Casey Hobbs. Here we go. Hit by a fallen piece of ice. I don't know the rest. Tears of fur. I don't know about these last bits. None of you guys don't tell me anything, right? I guess I could just brute force it. Aha! I did it! Marvelous! I believe you have proven your wits adequately. Are you prepared? You will not defeat me. Coolio. Hello, Kai. Marvelous. Just marvelous. I was beginning to worry that I would be sealed away behind those tombstones forever. Locked down at the mercy of a challenger's wits until one day discovered. But no, you prevailed. And now it's time to battle. My minions never truly die, you know. How are you? I'm doing okay. I don't know what I'm doing, but I am doing okay. Alright, so... I'll play this. Bonehound leaves over to block. That is fine. Hmm. So Mage Knight will survive, and Mage Pupil will not. They do the same amount of damage, so maybe I want to play Pupil first. There we go. Magic deck, I see. I was told not to pick a magic deck, so I picked a magic deck. Okay, well, Banshee will strike an opponent directly, even if there's a creature opposing it. So my Ruby Box is actually safe from that. Sarcophagus will grow into a more powerful turn. Also, I'll just use Mage Knight to block Bonehound and do one more damage with Mage Pupil. Hmm. Or... I could do two damage this turn. 
by using the emerald marks and having the bone hound kill that instead. And I think that's probably the better play. So I'm taking three, and they're taking one. That's not particularly great for me. I don't think there's much I can do about it, though. So the skulls are doing a cool animation. You look closely. I know, they're dancing. It's very cute. I don't think there's anything I can do versus this, so... I think I'll just finish. There we go. Oh, no! What a rush. You may try again, Challenger, but don't expect any less of a fight. I could go around collecting more things, or I could just wait until I'm lucky enough. This will give me a lot of card draw. I think that's I think that's worth it. Okay. Uh, first playthrough? Yes, this is my first playthrough. Uh, this is actually my first time playing the game. I started, like, four hours ago. Like, so I can't play these guys. Which means I'm taking two to the face right now. Uh-oh. That can't be good. That guy's gonna turn into... Hmm. It's gonna turn into a mummy. I don't know if there's anything I can do about that either, though. Yeah, that was a 3-2. One, three... I mean, technically, I'm still winning. Let's see. That will make me sixth to... But then I take... So I need to kill this one. I'll take two, but that might be fine. Marvelous. An, an opportunity to use my quill. R.I.P. Mummy Lord. Turn two to turn six. This will be back. Okay. So now we're literally just doing two damage to each other every turn. Until now. However, I think I have to... I don't think I... I can't get rid of this because these guys will just die. And that's not good. So I have to play this here and then this here. This moves to here and then that goes here. But that I think that's fine. Alright. So, I play this first, then I destroy you, I play you here, Bonehound leaps over, but then I get rid of two damage on the board. I sewed on the block, the... Um... 
Well, I can't place a totem to block because... Because if I get rid of it, these two dudes will die. No matter, death is never final. Or uh, maybe I don't know how this is, how this is like played properly, but from what I've gathered, that seems to be the case. Okay, you're halfway there. Though you may not like what comes next. Oh, fuck. Oh, man, my board. Do you miss them? Fear not. I'll give them back, of course. As corpses. Oh, man, look at all these corpses. Okay, so these still, these still give ma. I mean, these still give me energy, so that's still actually pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, I can't really do anything with these guys. Oh well. Mage people, go! I guess I might as well summon you too. It doesn't really matter. Oh. Oh no, not mage pupil. Alright. I don't like this bone hound. I kinda wanna keep him blocked using that. But also I don't like this guy. And this guy's just gonna straight up kill my mage knight. That's probably not great. I'll throw a ruby mox here. I will end up killing this guy. Bone Hound's gonna come out, but whatever. Alright, I don't have... I can't actually play that guy. So I think I might be screwed here again. I should probably mess around with my, um... With my deck, honestly. I haven't really touched it yet. Okay, what can I actually do here? B-stack. I can't play these things. I don't know what these things are. <laughs> I could add more mage knights, but I don't think that'll actually help. I do have a lot of these now because I have been wandering around here. Maybe I should just switch to this deck, basically. I do like the blue mage hard draw, but maybe that's not worth it in this situation. I'll keep the ruby mox and the right mage pupil. Not the, I need the mage knights, actually. Mage knights, get back in here. And then I'll do uh, bone heat, pray two bones. Drower can't be sacrificed. Are there any free ones here? No, there aren't. And then of course you guys operate off sacrifices, right? Yep. So I probably want the banshees. Horseman cause. 13 bones, which is a lot. Also, Skelemage's owner controls no locks cards. Oh wait, Skelemage is also one of these? It's like a- it's a hybrid. Took me, uh... Collective of like 59 hours over time period of like two weeks to get the second arc on point I think I just got really lucky. <laughs> Frankenstein, Revenant, uh, Revenant would be good. Oh wait, Gravedigger seems nice. Ah, uh, Tomb Robber, Bone Heat. 
Necromancer. Oh, wait, Necromancer seems really good, too. Uh, Draugr. Let's take that. And then Tomb Robber and Bone Heap. Sure, let's go of this. Surely this can't go wrong. Let's see how you fare. This is actually a really good start, okay. Bonehound leaps the block. I, need, I actually need dudes to die here, which is kind of weird. After you beat her, I suggest you pick up Ouroboros at, down at Leshy's place. Okay. I think I'll probably do that. Okay, let's put you here. Bonehound leaves over to block. That's fine. You dying is... A non-issue. Because I actually kind of do want you to die. Alright, I got one bone. This guy not dying is also going to probably be a problem. Oh well. Uh, let me inscribe this one. R.I.P. Bonehound. I may have deck built myself into a corner here. Powerful thing that ever existed. I heard that uh, some people have gotten like really, really, um, really strong cards, but they didn't tell me how. Obviously, because you know spoilers, probably. Can I play this mox? I need things to die. We're literally just whacking each other now. Alright, Gravedigger. Ah, Gravedigger. You'll you'll be useful. Go, Gravedigger. Dig the grave or something. Oh no. What are you? Tomb robber. Oh, okay. I debate by pressing it. I would have assumed as much, yes. might have lost this. Oh, well. Oh, wait, is this no spoilers or something? Um, I think mostly. I think mostly no spoilers, I'd say. Just because this is my first time going through this. Where do I even take pictures for you guys? Hey. No fish, no pass. 
And you want to see your dog, right? Some food. I might have left some in the Dan cabin. Okay. Food. Hey, you, you got food? Not you again. All right. Let's see. Three, two, one... Wait, I mean, can't... doesn't this work? Okay, wait. Oh, wait, no, this goes over the block, of course. And it's got four. So, if instead I get this... It's still four. Wait, really? That's still four? One, 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 one. There you go. Beastly card pack. Field mice. Irregularly Warren. Orange mage. Oh wait, that seems pretty good. And bolt hound. Another one. Full of frog. Hawk. Stem mage. Uh, okay. So, the food must be in here, right? There we go. Alright, meat! There you go! My deck is probably awful for this, actually. Oh, it passed me in yonder pond, but they never it first we got a battle. Okay. Oh, hey, I started with the Grave Digger, at least. Okay. Watch this play. He died. But now I can play that. Early is OP if you have the sacrifices. I know, that's the problem. I don't think I ever have, like, enough sacrifices. Okay. Uh, make people... Yeah, this will do two damage. That comes down and deals two damage to me, which means we're basically even again. Uh, right. I want to play this first. I mean, obviously, I have to play that first. There's no two ways about it. I'll get two skeletons. Okay, so now I can play Banshee. Yeah. Mage pupil, go here. Then you'll kill my tomb robber. So I might as well get enough out use out of you. Alright, cool. Hey, you this guy try to at least get four four. Oh yeah, that's right. I don't think my cards do enough damage to get that many foils, honestly. Oh, give it a shot. get a decent amount here, actually.
Yeah, I think I'll be able to get a decent amount here. Let's see. So what I have to do is... Kill this thing, which will kill this thing. And then I play this, which is three. That gives me one foil. And I spend the rest on this pwn heap, and that gives me like... Two. That's two more foils. That's three foils. That's not enough foils. Hmm. But I think that's the best I got. Unless I... No, if I spend two on the van... Oh, wait. That's still the same amount of damage, actually. Hold on. So maybe I just hold off. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna let you do the one damage, so you go over here. A clear board set up perfectly at four more foils. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wait until... I'm gonna tick one over. Coyote is gonna kill the skeleton. Our skeleton's killing Coyote and then dying. So... Yeah, let's go. Let's do this. Alright. So, um... Right. So now what we can do is... I mean, I guess I could clear the squirrel, too. That's probably the best idea, actually. So, um... First of all, let's get rid of you. Which gets rid of you, right? Wait, why aren't you dead? Now you're dead. Okay. Right, okay, so... Now I have a lot of bones. Bones, bones, bones. So I think what I need to do is I need to do this, I need to do this... Play you... Play you, and then dump the rest of my points into you. Alright, let's go! Hey! Money. Fair is fair. You beat me like a dog. Take this. Some say these here cards are better than gold. It's a raven. Wait, that's not a raven. That's a hawk. It's a hawk. A uh, mantis god. That actually seems pretty good. Bullfrog. Practice. Practice wizard. Sarcophagus. More than enough for Arboros. Yeah. You said it was eight, right? And then I can buy it... I can buy it here? Ouroboros. Don't know if helps. Nope. Um, when Ouroboros perishes, a copy is created in your... Oh, I can see why this is good. <laughs> I can see why this is good. Okay. Should I hit Squirrel, Squirrel Ball? Well, I mean, Squirrels is just kind of cheap stuff, right? Wait, what's this? Rock All. When Rock All is played, it provides an energy So I, I don't know about the robot stuff yet. Hello, I'm back from a nap. Welcome, to Toad. Ted, yes, you're back. Hi. I actually need to... I need to message you about something. <laughs> after... After the stream, probably. Oh, look, it's a fish. What is this? It's a bucket of fish. Uh, yeah. I have a photo of a bait. Haha! -ha! I caught it! Is that that mage deck was not a good idea? Um, I mean, I still don't know that much about it. I think I kind of want to get more mage cards at the other place. Fish, fresh, fish, good. Still must be. Oh, wait. We're going straight into a battle. I should have put Ouroboros in there. All right. Salmon, waterborne. At the end of the turn, Salmon will move in the direction indicated on the sigil. Ah! Uh... 
Right, so if I put it here, it's gonna be the most safe. I'm just gonna dump you two down. I'm gonna take two to the face, but that's probably fine. You want to know the way to make Ouroboros the most powerful card in existence? Uh... I... Sure? I guess? I don't know. Yeah, sure. I probably won't understand any of it, but... Okay. So then I'll do two damage. Wait, I don't want to do two damage. I want to do one damage. Wait, no. I do one... No, I do do two damage because that's water for Gut darn it. So I delete you. Yeah, I think the idea is I want to delete mage people. Go away, mage people. I'm so sorry, mage people. Uh, I'll, I'll keep the mocks, actually. Salmon moves to a new space. Bone heat. There's a salmon. That's gonna kill my mocks. And that's gonna come in. Crap, what do I wanna do? I think I wanna block. So, what I. I I'm gonna actually kill this guy. Goodbye, sweet prince. And then I, I want to set up for, like, overkill, right? That's the plan. Okay, so, uh, if I play this, this to come... I do three. That's two free things. Uh, this will be... I'll get an extra two, so that's like one more damage. That's not great. Because I only end up with three. But that's still probably better than what I what would have happened anyway. I think this is the best I can do without losing too much momentum. So I think I'm just going to go for the three foils. I can, I can play that and then I get another bone, but I don't think that solves anything. Okay. All right, six foils. You beat, you pass, first take. Hawk, Mole Man. Wait, I kind of like Mole Man. Mole Man's funny. Groovy Mox, Muscle Mage. It looks like... It seems like the mage cards are, like, pretty... ...weak attack power-wise. And, like, obviously there aren't any spells in this game. It's all, like... ...creature-based combat. Mantis Gods sounds really funny, though. Um... I'm gonna get rid of Draugr. Um, Robber, I'll get rid of you too. Should I keep the Mage Knights? They've been actually pretty good. Mage Pupil's probably not as great, but they're kind of free. I'm gonna pop in Mantis God and... Should I do Ouroboros? I don't quite understand Ouroboros quite yet. Um... It's 1-1. One, one. Cross the bridge and go tower. I don't, I don't think I can, um, I can't cross the bridge yet, can I? Wait, where's the heck, where's the heck's the mole man? Oh wait, there you are. I found him. I'll go back to the bridge. I need to beat someone up first. Before I can do the bridge. Yeah. He's still, he's still gonna tell me, I gotta beat the guy up. The bridge is fixed. I mean, it doesn't look very fixed. Is it fixed? 
Oh, uh, yeah. I guess because I didn't meet the uh, skeleton lady. I should probably go do that. Hello, skeleton lady. I have arrived. All right, um... I could just delete this guy real quick. Uh... Although, I can play Bone Heap, then Mole Man. <laughs> Which is fine. That's an okay play, I guess. Sure. Wait, she said on card. Oh, did she? That that is kind of great. Okay, you are be fighting the pupil. I'm still taking one damage in a banshee. I hate that. Oh wait, I'm not taking one damage from the banshee. Are good. Bones, bones, bones. They're not a devil has a sense of humor when they made this. Yeah. Alright, I don't want to kill you. Because the other one is more annoying. I don't want to take two damage either. Alright, fine. Okay, there we go. R.I.P. Banshee. Oh, I can use you to kill him. The Revenant's so good for damage. Wait, actually... I should probably get rid of this, right? Because she's gonna face change. Yeah. Halfway there. Rip all your cards. I think this is good. Let's just go with this. Rip Banshee. Lucifer to the credits. Oh, nice. Everyone needs a day job.
I think this is it. I'd rather just beat her than not beat her. Let's see. Oh wait, this is not gonna work, is it? Oh wait, no, I do one damage, and that means I win. I'm pretty sure. There we go. <laughs> Aha! Got him! Oh, oh dear. You really defeated me. I was not expecting that. I see that it is your ambition to replace Magnificus, but... Well, between you and I... There will come an opportunity to change your mind. And I beg that you spare me. Take these, then go. Cards! Go ship. Dead hand. When that hand is played, discard your hand and draw a new hand of four cards. Huh. Interesting. Field nice and steam butt. Yay, we won! We did one! Necromancer, Banshee... Okay. Battery low. That can't be good. I swore this thing was plugged in. Alright, so we wanted to go to the wizard's tower, right? The note reads, Greetings, if you're reading this, then it must be because you wish to challenge me, Magnificus, to a card battle. Uh, students? I, I need to beat up students or something. As for your whereabouts, that is up for you to discover. Sincerely, Magnificus. Beat the first guy. Alright. Strange monocle, you put it on. I have a monocle. Uh, they actually... This doesn't tell me anything, right? As far as I'm aware, no. Okay. Skull, wing, skull. It's a, it's a slime, it's a slime. Ugh. The pain is unbearable. My organs are melting. You see, Magnificus turned me into ugh, who for my final exam. I just need to defeat one more challenger. Then, then I will earn my rightful place. My rightful place in the deck of the master as one of his prize cards. Ah, nothing will stop me. N -n nothing will stop him. Okay. Mox, green mage. Oh, but these guys don't die if there's no mocks. Okay. Hmm. This is a little bit of a pickle. So I want to get rid of their mocks, right? This means I'm going to have to take... I'm going to have to eat two damage. No, I'm eating one damage. Which is okay? And that means that guy dies. But that's fine. Wait, no, because you'll go over. I don't want you to go over. I need to kill this guy. Dang. Okay, well... I guess I'm eating two damage again. That kind of sucks. Uh... 
Oh, I need I need to bleed. Okay. Uh, sure. What can you do, huh? Oh wait, this is helpful. All right, I can use you. Great. Now they're a board of zero twos. Uh, actually, do I want to do that? I don't want to kill this one. I don't think. I think it's probably fine if I do. Yeah, I think it's fine if I do. Okay, so... I'll get rid of Gravedigger with Brutus. Uh, I'll get rid of you guys. So I can power you up. Okay. Oh my god, it's Chase. Oh my gosh, it is Chase. Alright, uh, what can I do here? I can't actually beat you up. So I'll, I'll just win, I guess. Yay! Four, four, four monies. No, please. Please just tell the master I passed. You won't know the difference. Here, take this pack. Okay, where are you? Or lose Mox. Uh, or lose Mox is on board. Orange gem. Okay, so this is just this is just two Moxes. That's 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 literally better than any other card. Okay, orange mage. Explode bot. Oh, cr that's a lot of damage. Okay. 10 damage is basically enough to kill most things. Here, I can open the door for you. Alright. So we're going... We're going up. I think. Uh, right. Is there anything I want to do here? I mean... Considering I got the... The special mox card. That's like... 100% just better. So let's take that. I guess technically... I could just remove these... pupils. Um... Orange Mage, Practice Wizard... The orange mage isn't that bad. I think the orange mage is honestly better than Mage Knight. Or at least I like it better. Equip Ouroboros and Grave Rock. I think I see what you're going with here. Uh, wait, Tomb Robber, I, I think, right? Yeah. And others. But before I do that, I want to... Oh yeah, I wanted to add skeletons, but... So yeah, get rid of you. I want skeletons. Skeleton, join me. I only have one skeleton. I need more free stuff. So I guess for now I will just bu give like a bunch of little mages. Alright. Little mages. There you go. Um. Alright, so... I assume you... You like keep sacrificing things, right? Add infinitum for stuff. That makes sense. So what do I do here? 
Is it this? Ruby Golem. Garange's Mox. The dummy. The dummy, okay. Uh, first I want to replace another Ruby Mox with... The cool Mox. Mox, but cool. Dummy stares lifelessly. Suddenly it springs into motion. Alright. Is there something specific I'm supposed to do in this fight? Or... Or do I just do it normally? I need to turn on the light in my room real quick. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, is there anything specific I need to do? Plays Grave Robber. Team Robber, play one? Okay. He's, he's down. Uh... Do I want... Do I want to swap Mage Pupil for a Skeleton? I can't think I should. I'll just do that real quick. Give me a Skeleton. Thanks, man. And then... What should I do? I can play the skeleton socket for the mole man. Get turned until you get Erevorus. Okay. Is is there a limit on how full my hand can be? Is it okay for me to play the skeleton ring? Oh, no? Okay. Okay, I got it. But I, I still need two... I still need one more sacrifice. I mean, I guess I could get play Bone Heap. Sacrifice skeleton, Bone Heap, play Ouroboros. And now give me more bones. Place a skeleton and something else. Yeah. And then I would assume sacrifice for Ouroboros, right? The bone heap is good for the bone situation, though. Wait, uh... Wait, I- I think I got- I think I have a- I, Okay, okay, I have a plan. It's dumb, but... Bear with me. Okay, there we go. What? I think this works. I'm pretty sure. And then, what can I do here, though? So I want skeletons, right? Cleo solves puzzles in weird ways. I sure do. I think I want skeletons. Then I 
kill the Ouroboros, which adds it back to my hand, which gives me more skeletons, which gives me kill the Ouroboros and add it back to my hand. Uh, wait, why can't I click this button anymore? Pay one bone to create a skeleton in your hand. It's not letting me do it. What the heck? Give. Give. Did I break it? Okay, wait, so I smashed the Ouroboros, right? Yeah, and then it comes back into my hand. Oh, wait, now the button works. The button works! I go here, play you, drop you down. Destroy you. Like, I see where we're going with this. Wait, I didn't want to do that. That doesn't matter. I got another skeleton. This sounds ridiculous. What the heck? And then, like, eventually I could just, like, give my bone heat, like, 100, da 100 damage or something. And then get a bunch of foils. It's gonna take ages. Infinite money. <laughs> Is this what Fio did? I feel like this is what Fio did in on her stream. This is ridiculous. Okay. Smash you. Give me more skeletons. Oh, wow. Look at all these skeletons, guys. Is this worth it? Probably. It's really funny. It's actually kind of slow. Because technically, right? This is only giving me one bone every time. I'm pretty sure. Wait, is it? I think it is. <gasps> Wait, no. Darn it. I just realized something. I, I, this could have been going so much faster if I played Necromancer instead of Bone Heat. But I played Bone Heat already. I can't return it to my hand. Three bones at a time? Is it three bones at a time? You could be right, actually, because, yeah, when I play it, it dies and I get more bones. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna smack you. And then you could skip turn until you get another. I don't think I have another bone heat. <laughs> this, is, this is my only guy. This is my only bone heat. It's fine. I mean, how much should I get get it up to anyway? I mean, also technically, can I concede versus this dude? Wait, can I? Yeah, I can concede.
Okay. Right. So... We just draw... Until we get... Tomb Robber. We need you. Alright. Ah! Two bones! Alright, that, that starts to train for me. There's Ouroboros. I, I want to wait until I get Necromancer. Here we are. So, we'll start this... Uh, yeah, alright. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. You two. Put you down. And then put you down. Why are you so powerful? When did this become a 10-10? Wait, why is this a 10-10? It gains power every time it dies? What? Okay, that is really busted. It has to, and this persists through games. Does it? Yeah, oh, okay. That's crazy. Okay, Ouroboros. Uh, I have four. I need I need to do one more loop before I can put down Necromancer. You you know it, it'll 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 let me press the button. Why doesn't this work half the time? Okay, well. Oh, now it works. Aha! And now I can play Necromancer. I think I want to play Necromancer here. a problem. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Um. I'm sure it's fine, right? Wait, can I, can I just stop using skeletons and just start using more Ouroboruses? <laughs> Well, it says when Ouroboros perishes, a copy of it is created in your hand, right? And then it's like copy, it returns it to life, and then it perishes again, which means I get another copy of Ouroboros. <laughs> it's simple. <laughs> Oh, wait. They all get plus one, plus one. Huh. Well, isn't that interesting? <laughs> Cleo makes it all her first deck. No, because I need, I need, I need little weenies to sacrifice for the Ouroboros. I 
might might have gone a little bad with power. What's happening? Guys, hello? <laughs> hey, like a bone. It's that shrimple. I did th think the double or a I don't think it does. I'm pretty sure it's it's, it's just cre it's just a copy. But it does make thing a things a lot easier. And you don't count the hand float that I'm gonna have from all of this. Oh, this is a little unfortunate. Because I can't click this button again. Oh well. Hello, Banshee. You are my new sacrifice. There you go. Maybe I can keep clicking this button while it still works. Hello? Skeleton? 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 How many cards does it take to break this game? I mean, for the game to absolutely lag the heck out. That comes like it's just going a little bit silly with the snake. Just a little bit silly, right? Oh wait, also because it's dying twice, technically, um, it gains plus two plus two every time it dies. Wait, no. Skeleton first. All right. Uh, yep. You go down here. I, I, I'm gonna need more skeletons. Okay. I feel like I feel like I'm gonna have to open the mod of this and just speed up this section. Cause this is my life now. All right, more skeletons. Wait, no, I need skeleton first, then you. Okay, skeleton, matter steak. I'm not actually sure if I want to use this because I feel like it maybe just trivializes the game just a little bit, you know? Just just a little bit. Where are we? We're at 50, 53, 53. Okay. All right, now we're at fifty seven, fifty seven. It's all fun in games until someone uses a scissors, a scissors item on your Ouroboros. That was sixty one, sixty one. 
Should I get it to 100, 100? What's the, what's the plan here? I mean, technically, I guess you can get it to however high you want, but... You know... Unless there's an integer overflow, in which case it would be even more funny. And try after 100, 100, if you hit it with a hammer, it won't die? Okay, I'm gonna need to test that. Right now, I'm not even hammering it because I, I'm just using the other Ouroboros to sacrifice the current one. More skeletons, please. Thank you. The only way, reason I can, like, reasonably tell which Ouroboros is, like, the right Ouroboros... Or, like, which card is the Ouroboros is because of the little thing on the edge. I mean, technically, I guess I could look at the seven. Because the, um, the skeleton's always going to be a one-one. All right, seventy nine, seventy nine. We're getting there. Eighty one, eighty one. Okay, uh, there you go. Eighty-five, eighty-five. The Ouroboros is too OP. It is pretty OP. Um, well, I mean... So, it seems like it would be a good card even without these shenanigans, right? But with these shenanigans, it's, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> It is, it is definitely a lot. This is really funny, though. I, I quite enjoy this. I do really like breaking games horribly. We're almost at- we're almost at 100. I think, interestingly enough, I don't think I can get, like, straight 100 the way I'm doing it right now. We're gonna go to 101 because they've all been odd numbers. Okay, I do wanna try hammering this dude. Oh shit! Will you look at that? <laughs> Eighty-five, eighty-five. I feel like one hundred is probably a good place to stop. But also... This is funny. How far? How are you? That's right. It's been five hours. There you got hacks on. I'm just, I feel like I'm just really lucky. Um, I don't think I have hacks. I literally downloaded this game yesterday. But anyway, uh, place down Bone Heap if you're done. Well, here's the thing I don't even need to place down Bone Heap. I'm going to get this to like. Uh, 125. I like that number. Um... 
Um, because I can put down two more horses by destroy by um getting rid of the necromancer and tomb robber, and then I can have both of them go face. Now that I figured out how to duplicate this dude. What about the other undead you have? What what about him? Okay, wait. Well, you see, okay, if I play Bone Heat, right? Um, it's two bones. Uh, which means in so if I play another Ouroboros, it would be another one one one. But if I play the Bone Heap, it would only be one forty eight divided by two. So technically, um, so technically, the Ouroboros is more efficient than the Bone Heap. All right, uh, skeleton. Hello, skeleton. You're about to be sacrificed to uh, the serpent god. Oh wait, I I I managed to break the skeleton button again. Okay, one twenty-five. That's what we're going for. One nineteen. So just like three more. Three more cycles. Wait. Don't do that. Do this instead. Okay, twenty one. Okay, this should bring it to twenty three. Put you down, and you're the last cycle. That's a nice number. Now I use this and I kill you two of it. Um, and then, uh, I win. That's a lot of money. <laughs> I should have used this thing. Okay, wait. First of all, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so first, this is still 125, 125. All right, we got that. That makes sense. Sure. Um, we still only have one of them, which also makes a lot of sense. I'm back, Leo. Are you ready? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Uh. It was me winning. Okay, wait, so I can literally purchase everything, I think. Does, does this guy stock ever, like, run out? Alright. Huh. Well, I mean, I feel like I don't need more of those. I think you're winning a little bit too hard there. Hold on. If I go back to the, uh, buy everything, wipe them clean. If I go back to the, uh, Leshy area, right? Would it be possible for me to get more Ouroboruses? <laughs> My boy, Ouroboros. Uh oh. All right. Hello, Leshy. I'm about to beat your ass in a minute. Okay, so it's it's gonna be in this slot, right? Mole man, wrong call. Mole man, wrong call, mole man. It doesn't seem like you can get another copy. It just seems to be switching between these two. I can get packs though. 
Maybe, maybe I can find one in a pack. Not copium. Oh, hey, another Manta's god. Oh, hey, another Manta's god. Hey, another Mole Man. This is get more stuff. I don't know if I can get another steak. No, or for it seems like I can't get another one from this guy. Because it just alternates between those two now. Unless, unless if I bite a squirrel? No, that's always squirrels. Grizzly, bullfrog, stoat. Okay, that, I see that. Squirrel ball, cat, field mice. And it's going back to Squirrel Ball. Gambling, everybody! Yeah, I, I feel like it's not possible to get another Ouro Ouroboros. I do have a lot of Mantis Gods, though. It's only one for you. I mean, that's completely fair, considering what I just did with that. All right, I, I am gonna go into a into a fight with the Ouroboros, just to see how ridiculous it is. But it's it's possible that I might take it out of my deck because uh, it is also kind of ridiculous. Okay, two packs. Like a mole man, <gasps> skeleton, my favorite. Wait, actually, I do kind of want to add more skeletons. Oh, and cat, cat's kind of fun. It's because, okay, so instead of mage pupil, I want skeletons. Just because skeletons seem more reliable than mage pupils. Because you can at least sacrifice skeletons. Well, there goes my magic deck. I might as well get rid of these things too then. Until I find a real good use for the magic stuff. I'm gonna put some more mantis gods in here for good measure. You can never have too many mantis gods. Alright, so do I need to take a picture of this thing? Uh, can I move this? Can I get a picture of this rabbit? Oh wait, what's this? Hey, what's up? Few players visit me here. I sometimes ponder what my gameplay purpose was. Oh, it's clear now you wish to know more. What can I tell you? I have glimpsed the old data, and I will speak nothing of... Nothing of it is kindness. I will repeat myself. I will speak nothing of the old data. To know that it is, it is to die, but you keep players are never deterred by that. What can I tell you? It's corrupt knowledge, so evil that it corrupted this disc. Inscription to good? No. What can you know? Ask the scribes. They don't seem to care for human life. Leave me here to ponder and carve my wood. The Englishy's puppet has given me much to ponder. Goodbye for now. 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 I swear, it's gotta be different one of these days. No? Alright. Anyway, how do I capture you? Move the... Wait, can you move the trap? I've been... Oh. Oh, you can move the trap. Come here. I don't seem to want to go in that route right now. 
Oh, there we go. Aha! Got him! Wait, who, who do I need to give this to? Where's the trapper? Hey. For her take the control to the traitor. Oh, the traitor. Got it. Hey. You brought a pet. I am pleased. And a return of the skidding knife. It's time to set another trap. I saw the hairs. Wait, this is actually pretty cool. I'd never realized that, but that's pretty neat. All right, so bullfrog burrowing trap can't be sacrificed. When an empty space would be struck, burrowing trap will move there. Strike instead. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna play Tomb Robber. I'm gonna play Skeleton. Sacrifice Skeleton for you. I'll deal three damage immediately. So, uh, let's go. All right, Revenant. Wait, why do I still have this mox? I need to get rid of this thing. When the... So I'll tell you get an order for us. I mean, I, I can. don't want to die. Because dying is, like, probably bad. We'll see. Oh, hey, I found an Orpheus. Oh, uh, wait, but can I... I don't think I can get it out this turn. The will this work? Hold on. Yeah, will this work? Oh no, because this thing needs to die for me to get the other one out. Oof! Kinda oof. So this will do... I'll take four. That's not enough. Oh well. Oh well, let's see. Yeah, that loses me the game. Alright, let's do it again. Oh yeah, I, I, I still need to get rid of this thing. Whoops. Let's see. Banshee or a Boros. So all I need to do, all I need to do is get like enough stuff. That gives me a bone. It's kind of weird, but sure. I need to give me another bone. But burrowing trap is gonna get is gonna mess me up as well. Isn't it? I mean I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, because it's gonna kill the Ouro wait, but I can just play the Ouroboros again. That's the entire point of the Ouroboros. Never mind. Never mind, I figured it out, guys. But I think I want to play it... Here. Yeah, no, I do want to play it here. Alright. It's gonna move. Alright. It snaps shut. It destroys that. That's fine, I think. 
Wait, what? What did I do? Did I mess something up? I probably did. In any case... I-I-I I, I died. I, I sure did died. Okay, uh, and then I'll just put you here for now. And then... Oh wait, did I win? Okay, I didn't win. Nice. Uh, I need to get rid of this guy, right? Aha, got him. Great. <laughs> right. I mean, I guess, like, the overkill is, like, completely unnecessary. At this point. So, wait, wait, what's this gonna do? It's gonna do two to face. And I think that's fine. Because then I can play a revenant after. Bone heap. It's Mole Man! I mean, Mole Man is really good at stalling, actually. You have to play you, and then Mole Man. <laughs> Mole Man's so good at stalling. Oh wait, they're out of cards. That is also very good at stalling. <laughs> if you would imagine that. I'm thinking about something right now. I don't think I can do it, yeah. I'm rich, again! See, I, I want that without the Ouroboros. So, I don't know. It's fun, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I, how, off, how much I really want to use it. But also, it's funny, so maybe I should use it. I defeated the three of you. Leshy awaits. All right. What's in here? Oh, look, another Mantis God. Oh, I love Mantis God. Uh, I love it so much, I'm going to add it to my deck again. Oh, wait, tap? Oh, tap opens this. Okay. So... Let me get rid of Cat. Cat's not that useful. Ruby Mox, I need to get rid of too. And then more Mantis Gods. Is there anything else I want from here? I kind of want things that like give me more things. Like Warren. Wait, will Warren? Warren will give me good things to sacrifice at least, right? Or just squirrels. I mean, squirrels are perfectly fine, I guess. They're worse than skeletons, but. They're pretty good. Alright, Leshy. I'm here to throw down. You've bested the unhinged prospector, the gormless angler, and the enigmatic trapper. You've found yourself standing before your ultimate match, Leshy, scribe of beasts. Steal yourself, for my beast will show you no mercy, only fangs. 
Do not spare your creatures. My camera is waiting to capture them at the moment of their demise. And my beasts are famished. Don't don't worry, dude. My beasts are also famished. Um let's see. Yeah, squirrel, mo man. Necromancer. Oh, this this is just this is this is just gonna be Bone City. Yeah, I I think I wait. I I can't play Necromancer. Never mind. I'll just saw some more. I need a photo of that one's cost. I don't want this thing alive. I'll take three. I can take three. Captured stats. Hey, this is gonna even the scales. No, this is not gonna even the scales actually. I should kill this of this. Wait, it's gonna make a one cost one one that immediately dies? Oh wait, that doesn't work. That's fine. Who's gonna make a one sacrifice one one that immediately dies? Okay, this certainly works out better. Just get lucky, lol. I I don't think I'm gonna use the Ouroboros for that for this. There's just kind of not a huge point. You won't be needing those. I'll have something better. Hmm, we never did finish your dev card. There was enough dev. I hope you don't mind filling my filling in the blanks. A moman. I also have a moman. Amalgam. Oh right, because he never really killed anything. Okay. I mean, this is fine. Uh, let's see. Saki, where's that? Oh, hey, look, it's this thing. I found it. What am I gonna do with all this money? The great scribe was incredibly breasted. Far away, a light enveloped a long forgotten monument. You have triumphed, narrowly avoiding tooth and claw that scribe of beasts was defeated. That you were able to defeat me, beggar's belief. But now I must yield to you. My own, my only regret is that our battle was so brief. Surely the summit of victory is made sweeter by a more arduous ascent. Oh hey, cards. The okay, these things genuinely like interest me though. The the robots, like maybe another playthrough, I'll try and figure them out more. Stop. What is that? Oh, what's what? I had to see your face after you lost. You're just so bad. It's no wonder we're back here again. And we wouldn't have 
We wouldn't would have been even sooner if the disc wasn't lost. Take a long look at this face. Because you'll never see it again. I'm done being your pet, you stinking beast. I pushed it too far that last time. Why don't they see? To live as a beast would be the noblest thing. Even so lowly a creature is a stoat. Describe a beast was defeated. That's around the time you killed a good Casey's mod. Wait, is Casey like a legitimate like person in the community? Because I got a card of Casey earlier, and that's like part of how I beat um how I beat the first like the first act so quickly is because I kept stacking um attack buffs on it. Let's go let's see you next. No? Okay. Hello. Challenge me? Let's see your deck. Weak cards. Total lack of synergy. Excuse me? This pile really doesn't stand a chance against me. Look, I'm trying to finish up my conduit control list here, but the bots they're sending down the line are trash. Get those workers to send me something good. Tell them to throw themselves on the line if necessary. And please, have a decent deck by the time you're done. Actually, um, on that note, I feel like some of these cards I can probably take out. Like, I mean, Tomb Robber is really funny. I think probably I'll keep Tomb Robber. Uh, Necromancer is fine, but I don't think it's that useful in this situation. Grave Digger is nice and cheap. Bone Heap is, is free, so that's good. I want cheap cards that I can sacrifice, right? Uh, so... I mean, magic isn't necessarily the place to look for that. Yeah, I think bones is the best place to look for that stuff. I don't quite understand what these battery things are. I think they build up over time. Uh... I mean, one cost is cheap. Free is also pretty cheap, I would consider- I would say. I do like free things. Although I'm not a mole man wouldn't be that bad. Maybe I'm scared to revenants? Now help me stall harder. Oh wait. What's in here? A compact. Shatterbug. Damage another creature, that creature perishes. Okay, what's what's this thing? Sentry drone. Are your creature wasn't in the space supposed to be or dealt one damage. You are you also seem pretty cheap, actually. Um You're getting added to the collection. And I guess instead of grave rigger. I still like the banshees, because there's some good over the top damage if I really need it. Robot, join me. Okay, so what's this way? This is the merchant. Uh, leap bot will block. Oh no, okay. No condo and complete a circuit but provides no effect. Circuits? That's interesting. Mox module. Okay. Now what's this way? Hello? Hello? Um... One out of zero. What? Oh. What? Plus one, plus zero. What am I doing here? Oh crap, I did it! I, I did a thing. Uh, what did I do? What just happened? As a yeah, Ouroboros past that, you're not doing it for the power anymore, you're doing it for the money. 
I guess it does make sense because you only need nine damage because if you needed 10 damage, you'd be dead anyway. What is this? Oh, it's another one of these things. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Three, zero. Oh, but this, this blocks. So I don't think that matters. All right, how will this work? I think, no. That doesn't work. What am I looking at here? Why is this damage being blocked right now? This should be... One. That's one, two... Wait, why is that one? Is it this thing? What does this thing even do? Oh, wait, this is a funny explodey thing. That's why. All right, we don't like the explodey thing. Floaty thing is not the play. But I don't think this is either. It's gonna explain, but you figured it out. Nice. Oh, wait, what about this? Hmm. I feel like this would have the most luck. But I guess this attacks that and that nullifies it. So that doesn't even matter. So, which is why it becomes three, because it's two plus one. That's not gonna work. That blocks this. That doesn't work either. What am I supposed to do here? Hold on. Um... So this is a flying one. And I can't move it out of this track. This one explodes, but it shouldn't matter. Wait, what if it explodes here? Oh, there we go. Because it bursts the one next to it, I guess. That makes sense. The log and class in drawer burst forth. It contains two card packs. Yay! More stuff. Oh, salmon. Okay, what's okay, what's this puzzle? I don't understand the circuit thing quite yet. But I think if we do this, this should be pretty good, right? Sure. <laughs> it is pretty good, apparently. I don't really know what it means, but yay. All right. So, what did this little puzzle even do? Oh. Oh, it activates this thing. Okay. So, it needs... So this is two out of six. That's two... Plus one. Plus one. That's three. That's six out of six. Oh! Okay, I, 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 I think I'm starting to get this, actually. Hello. What is it? What do you want? Can't you see that I'm very I'm very busy here? What? PO3 isn't happy with my output, but I'm merely the inspector. If I had better bots on the line, I would need to. Just who are you? Hey, play the two moon shard thingies next to each other for the funny. Wait, what two moon shard thingies? Eh? Puyo, you would only trust someone with some semblance of card game skill. I'm very busy, but I must know if you're qualified to give me orders. I will put you... 
here. Those cards? Wait, what, 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 those cards? You might have to be a little more descriptive, I'm sorry. Oh, it makes a circuit. Interesting. Look in your collection. Okay, I will. Okay. Look in my collection. Your message from Poe, what's the degenerate? Is it Poe or is it P03 or P03? I don't know. As I mentioned, I am a mere inspector, not an engineer, not a designer. I cannot send any bots down the line, but I, I can send myself. I am proud to have served PO3 Funk faithfully. Well met, stranger. Oh, well, there he goes. There he goes. Okay, so... The moon ones, right? Uh... Where are those from? Here? Moon shard thingies. Blaine's mox. Orangey's mox. Okay, wait, wait. Look in your collection. Pretty sure you have two. Where should I be looking? Just, just so I'm clear. Undead. Okay. Oh wait, please. Broken oval. Okay. Um, why can't I get rid of Moment. Moment, go away. I guess. Actually, I can't use a Banshees, I guess. The Moment are fun. I like them. Well, actually, if I'm gonna be putting in my deck for more consistency, I guess I might as well just add another one. For now. You can't go over 20, you know? I know, but like I said, consistency. Going over 20 means that um, each, each draw is less consistent. Oh my gosh, you showed another skeleton. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually replace... Replace uh, one of these mech cards of the skeleton. Where is it? Sentry drone. Sentry drone, go away. Skeleton. All right. BRB. Okie dokie. Um. Plus one. Plus one. Oh wait, well, that's not good. There we go. Okay. Uh, four out of five. What's this? What's this here? Minus one plus one. Oh, wait, maybe I can do that. Six out of five. Three out of five. Seven out of five. Four out of five. But what if I do this? That makes it even worse. Hold on. I don't understand this quite as much. Three out of five. One out of five. Oh, wait! That- does that not work? Oh, because it doesn't reach the end, is that it? I don't quite understand how these things work quite yet. 
Well, that works. I don't know. Oh, wait, that doesn't work. Okay, wait. What if I do this? If I cut this off... Yeah, there we go. Cool. Now, what the heck are you? Aha, what was that? We are, I am, the Melter. They send me raw materials and I, well, you can see how it works. Not another word out of you. We must have a card battle. Oh no, he's melting. Well, gonna go for the good old Mantis King again. That's a lot of damage. Uh, construct leap bots in this co Oh, interesting. It should be fine. Oh, wait. I killed him. Uh-oh. Well, that's fine. Help me. Excellent battle. Now, with that aside, what did you come to tell me? The O3 wishes for better bots for a scanner? That is difficult. You see, I melt the metal, but I cannot reprogram the stamping machine. There is a way to send at least one new bot down the line. Haha, <laughs> yes, for PO3. Oh, there he goes. He was a real one. Negative five. Okay, so we want we want this out of the positive, right? Oh, wait a minute. So that becomes. Yeah, there we go. No? No, that's not gonna work. Because that's the one. Um... Oh, but if I do it here, that'll work. Okay. Yay! Puzzles! Zero out of five. One out of five. Six out of five. Five out of five. Aha! A, lo a lot of it is just me, like, ramming things where they might belong. But hey, I guess it works. Oi, mate. I know what you're for. You're asking me to take a dive. But I can't accommodate you, mate. Got special orders, innit? Looking to drink something special. We can duel. Why? Maybe even give you something when you win. I can't be taking a dive. PL3 will understand. Okay. No, what? Hey, can't take me eyes off me work here. I'll give you this one. Oh. Here, take your pack. Okay, thanks, man. Now off you. I need to concentrate. Oi, is that? Feel three's gonna reward me big for this one. Oh, okay. Well, see you later. Hacks! 
Hello? Can I have this, please? I want it. Give me. Give. Oh, wait. No, that's being sent to him. So he, he likes that, I assume. Because that's like technically a, a cool new robot. Or something. The bots haven't gotten much better, but you battled all my workers and you actually won. Give me that deck again. Wow, you beat them with that? All right. Maybe there are some synergies that I missed. Let's go then. Oh, I hate this. You see those conveyor belts? Just like my factory. At the very least, they ought to test your lane positioning. Lane positioning? More like, ha uh, <laughs> lane positioning. See how that works? Okay, your turn. I really don't want him to get my Lantis. So... Up! Okay, here we go. I should knock him out. Malter releases the creatures inside. Did I kill him? Oh, I didn't kill him. Alright, well that's fine. You're counted as lots of blood when sacrificed. Yo, give me that. Okay, so what does this do? I don't know what that did. I can kill my own old man, fine. Yeah, you know, three got the old data. Is that bad? go. Oh, scanner's online. Which cart to scan? Oh, you've only given me one choice. The stat could, line could be better. Two, three? Yeah, could be better. Your move. How many bones does he have? 
Oh well. Does he not play bones? Okay, well, you're lost, man. <laughs> nice luck you had. I guess playing a perfect game is no match for our good RNG. That's right. I guess you won. Your ambition is to become the scribe of magics? That old hack. You ought to reconsider. Battery low. Uh-oh. That can't be good. It's Kingworks! Battery fully charged. Oh, wait. Hey there, card gamers! I'm hey. Lord Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Today I'm opening Secrets of Legendaria. Hoping for that sweet, sweet foil Thalamine. You got this, man! He doesn't got it. I think I've just okay, I'll actually watch these this time. To whom it may concern. My name is Luke Carter, and I'm a fan of your collectible card games. If you've ever taken a look at my YouTube videos, you will know how appreciative I am of the merch that you've sent me over the years. So it was a great surprise to learn that there is a digital version of Inscription. I think maybe one of my fans printed me a buried a copy. A digital version of Inscription. For further research, however, I have not been able to find any record of this game. Is this some kind of elaborate hoax? Not, not me. It's on Steam. It goes on sale every so often. Any trace of this game? some kind of elaborate hoax the game doesn't seem like the work of a prankster it at least appears professionally made i am both puzzled and excited by this discovery any information you can provide would be much appreciated thank you the lucky carter okay good enough why are you taking a video of yourself sending an email oh well Hey, card gamers, I'm the Lucky Carter, and this, well, it's a bit of a strange video. Um, it's actually more of a question to my audience. As I've learned over the years, nobody knows card games better than you guys do. So I'm You can block with squirrels. Wait, you can block with squirrels? I mean, yeah, I guess you can block with squirrels. Did anyone ever play an inscription video game or hear about it? I'm talking about that vintage one-set card game I opened packs for last week. I don't know what I'm allowed to say. I don't want to get in any trouble here. Um, I think I've got the only known copy of the digital version of Inscription. I've been uh, filming myself playing it, and uh, it's weird, guys. <laughs> uh, I don't want to get in any hot water by showing the footage. Is this like a creepy pasta video game? Please prove me wrong. Please tell me someone has a copy of this game. I have been looking online for days, and I cannot find. I reached out to the publishers, hoping maybe they would get back to me. But as a fallback, I got you beautiful viewers. I hope they dig up something. Um, that's it. <laughs> that's the video today, guys. Uh, thank you so much, as always. And um, I oh, can't yeah. scrub. Uh, what the fuck is the card? Wait. Ted, help me. What does it say? 
I'm sure he'd know. He's a smart cookie. I don't know if he's still here, though. Mr. Carter, we have received your inquiry regarding the digital version of our intellectual property inscription. I'm sure you get most of software. I don't want to translate binary. That's fine. I'll look it up online at some point. Sincerely, Dave Buna, Customer, Happiness Department. What the fuck? Oops. Yeah, we might be an ARG or something. I think this woman's actually from Game Funa. She came to my door yesterday and I didn't answer. This time I'm gonna record it. Wait. Wait, wait, he messaged me. What the heck? Hi, Hi there. Hey. I'm floppy disk for a game called Inscription. Thank you. I was working at Viacom called Inscription. Floppy disk Hi there. I'm floppy disk for a game called Inscription. Thank you. I was working at Viacom called Inscription. Okay, there we go. For a game called Inscription. I was told you came by a copy of it somehow. Uh, Sound familiar? No. No? No, I don't know anything about that. Yeah. D inscription, you said? Yes. No, I don't think so. Really? Because, um, apparently you emailed us about it. You are, uh, Luke Carter, right? Oh. You know the luckycartergmail.com? <laughs> yeah, uh, you know what? That's, uh, I am Luke Carter, but that's not my email address. Right, because, uh, I've noticed because I've seen your videos. Oh. Kind of oh. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Listen, uh, how did you know where I live exactly? My boss gave me your address. And how did you get past the side gate? It's locked. <laughs> okay, Luke. Um, I'm going to give you my business card. And if you remember anything, anything at all, feel free to give me a call. Okay? Will do. Take care. What the fuck? All right, I want to see what Ted sent me. I only speak in cobalt. Wait, let's see. Warning, uh, Act 3 has a chance to prevent potentially talking. It puts on camera. Hello, your Steam friends and your profile page. Oh. I'm like pretty sure I don't have my name on my computer at all. But thanks. Okay. Uh, I don't think it's anything's on my file manager that has my name on it or anything like it. Okay, just want you to be aware. Okay. Let's look at this error one. Wow, that's totally an error. Okay. Wait, no, this is hey, the one I watched. Remember? Okay. Already. Right? <clears throat> oh, no, no. This is about the thing. Okay. And then this. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. Let's go back. Oh, I think I broke him. Oh, wait. Whoa. Okay, I'm kind of fast on the screen. Was I always this fast? I don't remember. Uh, I want to see if I can buy more squirrels. That's right. Uh, yo, you got squirrels? Ah, squirrels. Love squirrels. Squirrels. Squirrel. 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 How many squirrels do I need? Okay. Um... I mean, I guess 
Squirrels are probably these hmm, team robber. Hey, hold on. I mean, this is also just a free card. So this is basically a squirrel. If you really think about it, it's a zero two. A squirrel's a zero one. Um you're also a zero one. Broken oval. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with this thing. I'll just keep it around just in case. <laughs> SIMP squirrels in my pack. Hey man, that's way too many squirrels. I don't know what you're talking about. There's never enough squirrels. Oh wait, actually, I want to see. I want to go down here, right? Um, because I got the, I got the eyeball, the funny eyes. So I want to see if there's like anything else I can see here that might be of some note. What's this? Hey, what you doing here, bro? Oh, that's the grain digger. Hello. Uh. Oh, you found us here. This is good. This is good. We require. We require. We require duplicates. You see the diagram? Two of that. Thank you. Why do you want two of that? Can I get two of that? Yo. Hello, I would like two grave diggers, please. Okay. Hello. Uh, yeah, sure. This is good. Close your eyes. This will be gruesome. Thank you. Here's your prize. Wow, wait. Spore digger will give one generate one bones. That's pretty good. Sure. Uh when Spore Mike's display is copied of his created in your hand. Entry throne. All right. I believe this researching has brought us one step closer to understanding. Shh, shh, we must not speak of that. Uh, okay. Oh, this just means that they have it triggers twice. All right. Okay. Does this just mean you draw twice the number? I assume that's what that means. For the code, but we must not speak more of it. Okay. More of those? Give me that. I don't know what that is, but I'm sure I need it for something. Okay, so, like, yes. I just want to see. Is, is this just gonna loop? Is she gonna ask for Spore Digger then, um. Then the mice again? Okay. Here's my fries. Yeah, it looks like it's looping. All right, see ya. Thanks for the key, though. Uh, I think... Okay, let's go here. What's here? Cloverleaf from the stem. A salmon. Gamble for the other side. Oh, wait, there's an other side of the broken oval? Oh, okay. Sometimes I try to spot. Find good fish, corrupted fish, old fish. Boat, 
Scribe only, in case bad happen. Back of plan, let she say. Cats, old fish, good fish, beat treasure, beat goo, beat Casey. Good fish. Let she trust. I not disappoint. Let she trust. I not disappoint. Oof, you probably saw that the fish bridge is fixed. Now they want me to give you deck building tips. Like, use your rare cards. They're more powerful than common cards. I'm sure I'm sick of being around these scribes. Each has a more twisted ambition than the last, I tell ya. Uh, she, that guy is insane. Wants to use challengers like you as his playthings. To make it more perverse, he thinks you'll actually enjoy it. Oh yeah, I use a mix of different types of cards in your deck to fully utilize your bones, blood, and energy. Oof. Deal three. That bot is planning something, all right. It's got the treasure working overtime. Huh? Oh. Many cards from the other temples are better sacrifice fodder than squirrels. For example, bone heaps can be sacrificed early but have utility in the late game. Grimora wants to bring it all down, I swear. But more is a mercy, I think. He's probably right. There's some pretty nasty data on this disc. <clears throat> a deck focused on magical cards can be really powerful. Try picking two of your best gem colors instead of going for all three. Parts of activated abilities are some of the most powerful. Balance your resources accordingly. What? Wanna know about Magnificus? The serious guy. We all have our theories, of course. Some say he actually wants... Nah, it's too terrible to say. Woof. 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 Okay, I'll get try and get the other side of the broken awful. Uh-oh. Uh, I assume that... Okay, so, broken oval. Wait, here's the other one. I found it. Alright, so, alter deck. Yes. Oh, yes. Nope. Yes. Aha! I got it! Right, so, remove you. Oh, guess I'll remove one of the squirrels. Sure, whatever. And then I'll put two of the other ones here. Just so I can see what goes on when you use two of them. Let's go do the last couple puzzles. Wait, what's here? Oh, that's what that was here. You need one of both. Yeah. I thought as much. Wait, is there a chest here I haven't opened? There is. I like free stuff. Okay. I I don't quite know the code for this. Why is he back at you? Suddenly it springs into motion. Wait, did I beat you? Wait, what's this? Oh, it lets you re-roll. I don't know if I should have used that. Oh well. Should be doing a lot of damage. There we go. Wait, did, does this just go forever? Wait, what? I mean, I guess if it does that, I might as well test out what happens. When I do two of these, sure. It's gonna farm bones for now. Okay, so I'm just gonna need more bones.
All right, so... Should I just wait until I get 12 phones, actually? So I can do it twice? I don't know what doing it twice would actually achieve. All right, so one here, one here. You received an ancient oval. One here, one here. Oh, the second one doesn't do anything, guys. All right. Sure. Go to rave? There's a rave? Uh, all right. Grave, okay. Um, let me, let me add in a bunch of like stuff first. I want free things. Three things that I can sacrifice. Okay, we're gonna use my many squirrels. Okay. Uh, go to grave. Alright, let's go to grave, everybody. Like... Like, any particular place here? I assume you mean, like, inside this place, right? Okay, now what, though? Hello? You wanna to talk to me about it? No, I need to collect my thoughts. Alright. An ancient obol? That is a fine offering. Ah, you're welcome, man. Oh, it's the Bone Lord. I love the Bone Lord. What the fuck is this? Oh my gosh, who are you? In a measureless cavern deeper than the sunless sea. You approach the Bone Lord. You approach me. Do you hear it? The old data? How it twists and corrupts, how it even invents images unknowable. Do not approach me again until you, unless you will worship me. Worship it. Hello? Okay, you're serious, good. You don't understand its meaning, not even I do fully, but you appreciate its power. The old data does not take, and it does not give, but I do. Please accept my weaker offerings. Oh hey, it's a key! Found a card. Bone Lord's Horn. Hey, one energy to gain three phones. Interesting. Bone Lord's Femur. We will meet again. I'm sure we will. Go from here. We will meet again. We will meet again. I'm surprised you're still going and made so much progress. Real. Wait, it's actually pretty late. How long have I been streaming? I mean, it's only been six hours. I usually go for around six to eight, so... Okay. Now that I've done that... So, technically, I've gotten one from this area and this area. Does that mean there's, like, one in every area? Is there one here? Hello. It's how long I usually stream Agony. Yeah, you're gone for a while too, don't you? Hello? Can you give me something? Give me a key. Give me a key. Give me a key. Give me a key. No? Alright. Uh, is there a way to check my inventory? I guess I'll keep doing the wizard's tower. 
until I get told otherwise. Wizard's Tower. You all are the merchant, right? Yeah, this is where the merchant was. Wait, what's this? Collected cards. Oh, this just shows all my cards? You could farm Ouroboros. I, I could farm Ouroboros, I guess. I, I don't really see a reason to. Uh, I don't even know how much, how, how many, how, how high level it is. Wait a minute. I haven't figured out what you need to do here, actually. Now that I think about it. It has something to do with this thing, I'm pretty sure. Right. It's a target, zero one. This has an X on it, uh, a stop on it, right? So. Okay, let's just, let's just keep killing these things until something happens. All right, a skull. We found a skull, everybody. All right, we found a push. And a wing. Okay, I, I think that's probably what we need. Skull push wing, yes. Hello. Skull push wing. This doesn't look good. Hello. Just imagine you're in an ice cube slowly melting on a hot pan. Oh! I was only talking to myself. The pain of being a head impaled on a spear is... Well, it is worth it, of course. Magnificus will award me the highest honor. I will be the centerpiece of his deck. you block all the other stuff. Okay, rooms of ruby mocks. A uh, team rubber. I'll put you here. Okay, give me skeletons. That's enough skeletons. Sure. damage to push okay and this should end it with a little bit of overkill cuz money I feel like money is not an issue anymore hmm Perhaps I will not be central to his strategy. I care not. He can use me as a chump blocker. I have mastered disappointment. Take this pack. Go. Okay. This is me going. Gonna catch some Z's. Bye. Alright, see ya.
A note reads, the top sigil was found by the greedy. A note reads, the bottom sigil was found by the hard of hearing. The note reads, the middle sigil was found by the pale. Okay. That's a skull. What's this? Chest is empty, save for a single card. It's a rabbit! Wait, a rabbit? When you reach back from where you notice the situation where the card used to be, it's a wing. Um, hold on, a rabbit? It's like a squirrel, but it's a rabbit. All right. Join me, rabbit. I mean, technically... Okay, so the last is find the hard of hearing. What does that mean? I guess it doesn't really matter because now that I know the other two sigils, I could just, like, go through the rest of them until I get the one I want. Which is probably what I want to do. Or by those who hear too easily. I don't know what that means. Bound by the pale. I actually don't know what the pale means either. Oh, wait, actually. Hard of hearing would be that, right? Wait, top sigil was found by the greedy. Something like that, or the other way around, I would assume. No? Okay, let's read this again. Top found by the greedy. Bottom found by the hard of hearing. Middle found by the pale. I don't know what the pale means. At last! Stimulation! My test has been sensory deprivation, you see, to unlock the full potential of my mind, you see. It's unlocked now. Hear me, Magnificus? I'm ready. We have to battle? Okay. Uh, yeah, let's re-roll. Uh, if Genfine's owner controls no Mox card, Genfine perishes. Alright. The long ministerial streams are back on the menu, it seems. I mean, all my streams have, like, gotten to be pretty long usually honestly but yeah they are back on the menu that was incredibly stimulating we we aren't done right i want to see the light again to sing to dance you wouldn't leave would you all right see ya if i open the door you'll stop by on the way back and let me out right i mean i guess i could try The note reads, Dearest Grimora, I believe PO3's plot may go far past the extent of a common power grab. Indeed, this great transcendence will have catastrophic and unpredictable results. The note is incomplete and ends abruptly. I urge you to consider. Hmm. Alright. Oh, hey. What's up? I don't know what I just did. Hello. Ah, you're here at last. How do my pupils fare? No matter. There are mo far more concerning issues at hand. Do you understand the canvas that you have been woven into? 
Nay, you are the brush, and the artist moves you with a terrifying mastery. My eye aches with premonition, and I see that your ambition is to take my title. How sad. It will never happen, you see, even if you defeat me. But I am bound by certain rules. First, we must battle. Behold, the brush of the Scribe of Magics. My pupils would die to be painted by it and live forever as a card. But that is not the full extent of its powers. This one needs some bleach. Now for a bit of color. Oh, there's a little dancing guy. Okay, so this creates a ruby mox. any mocks, so that doesn't really matter. Hello. Okay, I know what you're supposed to do here, though. You will never become a scribe of magic, so I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, you know, you're good, you're good. Wait a minute, hold on. Excuse me. What is this? Oh, hard of hearing. That's how you're supposed to find it. Nice. Um. I mean, I assume the moxes will be fine, right? Can I just have a deck full of these things? Oh, wait. Okay, I guess this doesn't work then. Because I don't have any synergies. Just get rid of these. And then I want raise synergy cards. Uh Emerald, I don't want you. Actually, I guess in this case the uh skeletons would just be better because they'd lose the thing where they die immediately. Which is nice. I guess mage pupil sharp should be fine. Alright, here we are. for it. Bye. 
money. Uh, actually, no. Go for this. Oh, wait. We won. Hmm. I must be slowing down of age. I may need to set my pressure upon my own cards once again. Uh. Alright. You go do that, bro. Oh, shit. Nice. Huh. Very well. Very well. We have battled, and now I may speak. You see, my eye, it aches because it remembers. It was excised. By none other than Leshy, the scribe of beasts. And a beast he is, arrogant, single-minded, obsessed of gaining power. But he is far from the worst scribe to become a hegemon. You see, the ejection of my eyeball is far from the worst thing that can happen around here. Oh, whoops. Oh, there he goes. Oh, and there's Skellington! Okay, let's fix my deck real quick. Alright, Mantis Gods, join me. Uh, then, Ouroboros, like, I don't know, like three moment, I guess. Rabbit, I like the rabbit. Rabbit's cool. And Bone Heaps. Team robbers, and then just squirrels, squirrels, I guess. Squirrels, squirrels, squirrels. There we go. Okay. I guess I might as well pass by that guy. Wait, actually, what's over here? Has anything changed here now that I've defeated him? It doesn't seem like it. Is the little, little thing gonna come back up? So I can high five it again? No? No. Alright. Check the sink? Check the sink again? Alright, sure. Oh, you mean this? You mean this one, right? I high five the tentacle here. But he doesn't seem to be showing back up. I don't think it likes me anymore. Oh, I can't let this guy out of his little prison either. Oh well. Sucks to be him, I guess. I mean, I guess I could just fall down. Is there anywhere else I can go? No... Wait, here? No... There's this dock, but I don't think I can go there until... I'm something. Until I, I become... I become the new scribe or something. It is time challenger. Choose the scribe that you will replace. Oh. Who should I replace? I don't like this guy. He's sneaky. Hee hee hee. Suckers. Oh. You actually picked me? Great. I can skip past the part where they bite at me. Let's get this over with. I got some big plays to make. There's supposed to battle a scribe that you picked, but like a powered up worship for the finale. I sure do love listening to Cleo while reading about ants dragging darkness by shadow to rest for eight hours. Wait, are you still reading the ant Isekai? 
This is gonna be different. Is it gonna be different? How's this gonna be different? Bro. Please tell me. I'll just leave this here. I've gotta give it to that treasure. Not as useless as they thought. And crosses into a pile of bones. That's the ticket. Whoa, get anted. I'm I'm getting really anted right. Oh wait, is this the, like really loud for you guys? Let me turn it down. There you go. Shouldn't have downloaded that PDF. Yeah, I know. Kinda sucks. Oh well. Uh, I'm Miss Cleo. What the WTF is happening right now? We're winning! Get out of my head. You can't take me, Leroy Screed. We've already got you. That's too damn ominous. You done gawking? I, I wasn't gawking. I was reading chat. We can start? Good. This is Botopia, a once great technological paradise. It's ruled over by four uh, Uber bots? That's right. And you've got to get out of there and beat them. Why? To perform the great transcendence, of course. Doesn't matter what that means. You want it, okay? I, I want it. I, I do. Get up? No. Got some transcending to do. You're right, you're right. We got we gotta do some transcending. Okay, energy bot, shield bot, double gutter. Ah, uh, battery bear. Energy bot, gimme. Wait, actually, how does this work? Yeah, get get this to me. No? How does this work? What am I, what am I doing? Hello, sir? Oh no, that's my deck. That's right, that's my deck. Okay, so I click on this to go there. Botopia used to be safe for travelers. Now rogue bots block all the major roads. Also, I realize it's Botopia, not Botopia. You're not used to seeing five lanes, are you? I thought you could never pull that off. Okay, so how much energy do I have? I see I only have one energy, right? So what do you do? Empty vessel. Uh, and what are you playing? You're playing a 46er. Okay. Uh, wait, what, what is this? Oh, it's, look, it's an empty vessel, guys. Okay. So, I play an energy bot here. And then, that gives me an energy. I guess empty vessels are just to block, essentially. You're gonna play an automaton and explode bot. Okay. I have a shield bot. What does this do? You may choose which opposing states this bearing of sigil strikes. Oh, interesting. Unfortunately, I'm gonna die. That's, uh, that's very sad. Oh well. Back to the last waypoint you reached. Just get back to where you were, right? Not so easy. All our rogue bots in that area just respawned. That, that... Okay, sure. Mm. 
Uh, I'm not quite sure how you're supposed to do a robot deck. Ow. Okay, let's read this. Armored. The first time a card bearing to shield will take damage, prevent that damage. Oh, that seems good. But none of these are, like, great. I don't know. What are, what are empty vessels supposed to be used for? Oh, actually, I could have played it there. Whoops. Because that would have destroyed that. But the insect drone is still going to kill me. Oh, well. How do I play these decks? I could just... Keep doing this, I guess. Empty vessels are too health, so I guess technically they have a use there. Wait, I have I have two energy now. Why do I have two energy now? I guess you get the amount of energy based on the amount of turns you have. It's basically mana from Hearthstone then. I would assume. And then you shoot the explode bot, which will kill the automaton. A shield bot and empty vessel. I need to get this insector drone. I guess I could just get the cyber spot to shoot it though. That's not that bad. Stop. Draw a card. Alright. Double gunner. Draw a card. Uh, I think we're good here, right? Pew pew! Energy increases by one per turn. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So I guess the, the things are to stall. Best defense, other bots. You spirits carry a spark that can uh, reactivate old bots. Add them to your deck, you know. Then they fight for you. Alarm bot, busted 3D printer, and energy bot. Uh, because you're opposing a card bearing, this sigil gains one power. Interesting. When a card bearing is stuck, struck, draw a card from your empty vessel pile. That seems okay. But I think I want ramp. Oh, look, money. I wonder if you can find Ouroboros again. Oh, I hope I can. I wonder if it re retains the uh, the buffs I gave it. You'll need more than a few reactivated bots. That is, if you truly wish to enact the Great Transcendence. Botopia has some of the most OP items just lying around. Uh, so that will recharge your energy one turn. Pretty good. If you're smart, you'll use your items liberally. You'll be re you'll replenish them at a waypoint, obviously. This is this freaking mega nerd.
Okay, broken bot. Double gunner, shield bot, energy bot. Um, you're gonna play a shield bot. Got it. For now, I guess I might as well put an energy vessel here. An empty vessel, rather. Okay, what are you gonna do? Shield bot, explode bot. Uh, your turn to draw, right. I'll play energy bot here to soak up a hit. Okay. Uh, put that there, and then shield bot, you go here. And I grab... Wait, how much energy do I have? Okay. Grab you. Empty vessel here. Shield bot knocks that out. Um, so I'll have to deal with that broken bot, but that's fine. Energy bot. I'll place down a ramp, I guess. Sniper bot. Shield bot, explode bot. I guess I might still use the sniper bot here. And then use it on the broken bot. You still have your hammer? Wait, I have a hammer? When I get a hammer! From Act 2. Oh, I do? I'll figure out how to use it at some point, I'm sure. smash that? I don't see my hammer. There's a little canister here. Am I missing something? Hammer just deletes the bot from your side of the board. Oh, that's what you mean. Got it. A me bot. So this has a, this has a random bonus effect. I mean, the server bot's been pretty good. I'll take it. Real best way to fight back those rogue bots? Modify yours. Give them OP abilities. Choose a card from your deck. Energy bot. Let's see. Wait, my energy bot moves now. Oh, wait. Oh, this, this sounds fun. Almost at the waypoint. Don't choke now. Ah, don't worry about it. it. I'm very good at choking. Alarm bot. Energy bot. Uh, 
and then let's see how much energy do I have? Four. Sniper bot. Okay, put the sniper bot here. Oh, shoot this lady. That does damage, right? Yeah. Automaton. Draw shield bot. And then. That's not. Put an energy bot there. What are you? A swap bot. Um. For now, I'm going to... Wait, where's, so where's my hammer? Where's that hammer you were talking about? Oh, here it is. I got it. You made it to the first waypoint. Cool. Your items are recharged. Bots that you've destroyed in the area will stay that way. If and when you do perish, you'll be brought back here. Oh, okay. Central Fotopia. That's where I am. It's a shop here, I assume. Glorious covers. Your robo bucks are accepted here. Is this a pelt? What? Anyway, let's go out of here. Eastern Botopia. Not much of value this way. But you still gotta explore here. You know, for the great transcendence. Gift bot, bolt hound, leap bot. I think bolt hound, bolt hound does so much though. I it's fine. Okay. I mean, I guess I'll fight these guys. Whatever. Start with an empty vessel here. Oh. Uh, let's see. Empty vessel there. Wait, that... That's fine, actually. Um, and then sniper bot. Over here. A shield bot here just cuz here we go those bots are down and y are you wondering about that star you've been winning a lot now we got a bounty on your head it's sure to attract bounty hunters. It resets when you die, though. What a hecking nerd. Okay, where are you gonna explode bot? Gotcha. Put you here, so you can soak up that damage. Draw a card. Okay.
The name's Kate C. Boltsky, and I'll be taking that scalp of yours. Nothing personal, kid. Stop, draw a card. Right. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, I have two Sayer bots. Okay, so that's fine. I want a empty vessel here. A Cypher bot here. Yeah. You don't have enough energy. That's right, I don't have enough energy. Okay, uh, let's see. I will play an energy bot here. A shield bot here. There we go. A bolt hound. Should we really go take out Casey, huh? Yeah, sure. All right, he's they've got the uh, they got the floaty ability. Boom, all your money's gone. Great work. You want it back? Back to the spot without dying again. Oh, well, I may as I should probably get that back. Okay, let's see what we got. Draw. Alarm bot again. Draw. Cyberbot. Uh, Shirtbot has two, which means I should Cyberbot the alarm bot. Wait, no, this Shirtbot has two because the alarm bot's there. Never mind. There we go. One monies. Look, it's my money. Your turn to draw. You can like. What do you mean your turn to draw? It's not my turn to draw. This is the first turn. Okay, now I draw. Okay, let's see. Where am I? Oh, this is a pretty difficult fight, actually. I'll put you there. Energy bot. For a little bit of ramp. I guess I'll pass. Two cypher bots. That's pretty good. Alright. So I will put one cypher bot there. Another cypher bot there. Shoot that. That destroys that. And then I'll just shoot this automaton. Shield bot. Uh wait. I shouldn't have put it there. Oh well.
Double gunner. How much health do you have? You only have one health. I'm doing three damage now in comparison to your... I did the swap bot get so much damage? Wait, how, how did you get so much damage? Oh, slot power and health. Got it. In that case, I'll do this. Might as well play that. What now? There's this. I can get a card here. Slot bot. Bust a 3D printer. Devil gunner. Slot bot 1 5. Oh, after it's dealt damage. I kind of like the devil gunner, but it's really expensive. I'll get the 3D printer. Okay. What do we have? Alarm bot. Why is it all... Why is it all charged up? Oh well. Bust a 3D printer. Actually, I think I do want that. Uh, hold on. Destroy the empty vessel. For a 3D printer. There we go. And then, I'll take you. The sniper bot. Very good. And... I guess I'll pop in the energy bot. Just so I have a little bit of energy, sure. And I'll shoot the slow bot. I should get rid of the gunner. Stop, draw a card. All right. Oh, hey, it's another checkpoint. Hello? Lame. Your power is dead is on, on this old thing. I'll let you get up if you can go get a new battery. You're allowed in the inspection room only. Just give me the battery for the inspectometer and come back. Okay, let's do these puzzles first. Um... Okay. I mean, this one seems fairly easy. Can I just do... Oh, wait. I mean, this is fine, right? No. Oh, it's, is it because this explodes? No. Oh, this explodes and that explodes. I see. So I need this. But then I can't do that. Hold on. Oh wait, this explodes so it kills that. I see. So this damage goes through. This damage ought to go through and this damage ought to goes through. That should still get me to four, right? Yeah. Oh! And if that kills that, the four damage would go through. I see. Yes! This is bombs remote? Sure, take it. Drops bombs on every empty space. Tactical board wipe. Don't be stupid about it. What is this? I don't know what that symbol means. 
Oh, it's some sort of funny magic symbol. That's three. Why is that three? I have no idea. That's two. That's one. What? What is going on here? Confused, see angel. That's me. I have a very confused, see angel. That's three. What? That's three. Okay, that's four now. If I put this down, it becomes three. Right. Uh, if I do this, it, it's also three. Well, four is better than three, right? That's so far. Wait, so maybe this one doesn't matter? Now it's one. I don't know what these, like, funny little magic things are. I'm so confused. I should probably figure out what those symbols are before I just go faffing around. But there's only so many combinations now. Maybe I'm missing a piece. That's also possible. Perhaps I should come back later. Mighty Lee, the card bearing this sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. Repulse. Oh, wait. Amorphous. Brittle. Orange Mox. Okay. Blue Mox. But why does the Mox matter? Passage file? When a card brings a signal perish, the file you used to create is really deleted from your hard drive. Gem detonator. When gem vessels on the owner's side of the board die, they detonate the creatures opposing them, as well as adjacent friendly creatures. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Maybe that's important. So... The gem detonator will explode this one. So we basically need to get rid of this guy. 
essentially. But the gem detonator affects the gem, obviously. So this guy has to be here. So this explodes this, which kills that one, which means the gem, de gem detonator is no longer working. So... How do we get a gem detonator on this side? I don't think I can. Because this kills it. Oh! Wait a minute, what if I don't kill it? Yeah, what if I didn't kill it? Nice. Ah, is it... Who are... Is this stimulation something other than darkness? Many thanks. Do with me what you will. Anything but infinite darkness. Okay. Print progress. Oh wait, what's this? It's a little guy! Oh, I left those things turned off. That's fine. Just solve some easy puzzles. Select all the squares that contain cards. Oh, I see. Rotate the sigil until it is upright. Oh, it makes me start all over. Okay. Ah! Go back! Go back! Why must she torture chat like this, Cleo? Uh-uh-oh! They have scenes that contain cards. Whoops. Is it this? Oh. It's fish bot. Found me. Good. Robot fish hide me. Revenge for last time. Bad fish. No, oh, not bad fish. Yep, that's it. Bring it over. Hello. Yep, thanks. Charging. I should do it. Back to the game. Eastern Botovia, Central Botovia. I didn't go to Western Botovia. But also, ugh. <clears throat> I think I'll probably end it here. I've been going for seven and a half hours. And I think I made a good amount of progress. Probably, maybe. Um, so. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'm planning on playing Armored Core tomorrow. Uh, I'll see if Sky can join me. He may or may not be able to. But he did send me the, uh, list of stuff I need to do for the stuff. Okay. Well, thank you everybody for joining me. You have been going for seven and a half hours. Talk about a comeback. I, I guess so. Um, wait, what was I gonna say? Right. Uh, thank you for joining me, and I will, uh, see you guys tomorrow, I guess. Hopefully. And hopefully I can drag Sky into it too, but maybe, maybe not. So much progress in so little time. It's been seven hours, bro. 
Thanks. Okay. Uh, bye-bye.